Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. What is the meaning of this? What is your problem? I am sorry, my princess. You are sorry for what? Uh, you cannot see the king now. The man is very busy. Why? He is busy. He is busy. Ikukun, to the best of my knowledge, my father is inside his throne room with nobody. Why then will you tell me that my father is busy? I want to see him. Listen, there are too many things that can keep a man busy even when he is alone. That is the case here. You cannot see the king. The man is busy. Okay then. Why don't you go in there and tell him that I want to see him? It is urgent. Unfortunately for you, men like us that work closely with kings and men in authority are not moved by tales of urgency. For we have a different meaning of urgency entirely. Do not insist on seeing the king now, for it will not happen. Don't you get it? You go excuse me! Do not rush. Don't push this, my princess. Just... Let me put it mildly to you. I cannot die now. Not after everything I have sacrificed to get here. Now that I am just beginning to enjoy all the wealth and power. No. It's not possible. Okay. I am giving you three years. Three more years and it is over for you. Three more years and your chapter ends. Three more years and Kubeza. Three more years and if you ask for any extension, I will get the masters to start paying you slowly. It will be horror. You are going to shed tears and your tears mean nothing to us. This is Chisobad Construction Company. As you know, this business is still struggling to stand. But that's why we're here. We are here to assist the boss. Sibia, please. Can you do me a favor? Mind your business. I know my job. I know. I know that you know your job. But if you take out time to read our mission statement every day, I'm sure you understand our targets. House for all. Is that not the mission? Specifically, solving the housing deficit in Nigeria. That's why we're here. You can do it. Come on, bro. You don't look right at all. Tell me, what happened at the bank? There is nothing to cheer such as like us now at all. This country has been wired for the rich to get richer and get poorer. I don't think I seem to understand what you mean by that. I mean, I thought the government said they were giving out soft loans to young businesses like yours. All political statements. They are not serious at all. What do you mean by that? I met with the bank manager who told me that this government loan does not cover people like us in the real estate sector. My best bet is to push my two girls to continue sharing the hand bills. Hmm. Okay, um, let me ask you this. Let's assume your handbills and video adverts get to attract the clients interested in your low-cost housing. How do you intend on delivering? Roland, I don't want to disturb myself about that now. I am optimistic. If God is going to bring the client, okay. he 
real, he wanted to make a way for me to deliver. Mm. All right then. But if you listen to me, this is what I have to tell you. Why don't you consider going into a business like mine that guarantees something at the end of the day? I mean, maintaining this office and paying two ladies at the end of the month is not something a starter like you should be doing. Seriously. Roland, keep your advice to yourself. Real estate is my life. I'm not going to leave it for any other thing. Quote me. All right, that's what you want. If you commission the masters to begin to kill me slowly, it then means only one thing. That you never liked me as a royal apostle. I like you. And you know I have blessed you more than many of my apostles. Three years is enough for you to enjoy whatever that it is. You will aspire after three years. I'm asking you to prepare. Three years is not enough. Because by then, my son, who will take over from me, would not have concluded his program in the Aviation University. I am begging you from the deepest part of my heart. Please. Give me ten years. Ten. Okay. I have a way out. Get the princess to marry. Any man she marries will die after one year. So that he will replace you in the man of the dead. That way, you will be able to leave. For a more of ten years. Father, I am not speaking with him. As a matter of fact, I will never discuss anything with you anyone in this palace. How dare him? Why will he block me from seeing my father in his room? Why? My princess, that was yesterday. Let it go. Father, I cannot let it go. I am not going to let it go. Why does Ikuku always block my path whenever I want to come and see you? Whenever you're in the throne room, why? For he deserves to be punished. Why are you recommending punishment? He was only doing his job. What job? Tell me, maybe I do not know about Ikuku's job. So Ikuku's job also includes him warding of everyone whenever you're in the throne room? Maybe you should tell me. For it is not the first time nor the second time he's blocking my path. And I am not going to take it like this time around. I will not. What is it that you even do inside there? What is it, father? Listen, my princess. I am a king. Sometimes I commune with my ancestors in private moments with them. A princess like you should not be reading useless meanings into this. <laughs> is that all you have to say? Father, this is how you are going to handle this? Just like that? Like I told you, Ikuku was just doing his job. Stop behaving like a kid. Besides, that was not why I even called you. Now, when are you going to introduce your boyfriend to me? Sorry? Did you just say that to me? My father, I'm going to pretend like I never heard that. Oh, yes. I want to know. I said that to you. Listen, I am not an illiterate king. I know you have a boyfriend somewhere. All I'm asking is introduce the boy to me. I want to know who he is. Well, Father, I am not comfortable discussing this topic with you. My daughter, do not misunderstand me. I know I have not cared much for you since your mother left. And that's why I am now interested. I want to know everything about your life. I want you to have love. I want you to experience it. Live it and be happy. Listen, my daughter. Love is what you need as a woman. Father. This is unbelievable. 
My top talking father all of a sudden is talking about love, care, happiness. Father, is this you? This is strange. There's nothing strange about this, my daughter. For I already told you the reason. I want to rise into the position of a mother. Not just providing for you as a father, but also knowing you inside out as a mother. I am sorry, father. I do not have any answer to your questions. Maybe I'm going to tell you someday. Certainly not today. Excuse me. My princess. If you commission the masters to begin to kill me slowly, it then means only one thing. That you never liked me as a royal apostle. I like you. And you know I have blessed you more than many of my apostles. Three years is enough for you to enjoy whatever that it is. You will aspire after three years. I'm asking you to prepare. Three years is not enough. Because by then my son who will take over from me would not have concluded his program in the aviation university. I am begging you from the deepest part of my heart. Please, give me ten years. Ten. Okay. I have a way out. Get the princess to marry. Any man she marries will die after one year. So that he will replace you in the man of the dead. That way, you will be able to live for another ten years. Her husband must die after one year to replace me in the land of the dead. I must live another ten years to solidify my grip on the land. Why is she not thinking about it?
Sir, if you allow me, I will explain. Sir, I have what it takes to deliver four bedroom bungalow for one million naira, and everything in it comes with one year warranty. Yes, sir. sir. Sir, see, that is where you come in. Sir, invest in me. I have the template that is already tested. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, I need money to create some samples. And, and people's mindset will change when I show them this sample. Their mindset will change. Hello? 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 will I do? Eh? Why am I in this kind of town that nobody wants to help anybody? Eh? Why am I here? My princess is here. I am very sorry. It was never my intention to help you by my action. Just that your father needed his privacy and I was I was simply doing my job. Well, um, it's okay, Kuku. I mean, you just said it yourself. My father. That means I have enough right to his privacy than you do. Right? Yeah, yeah. I, I agree with you, but you will equally agree with me that sometimes even closest companions need some time to themselves. Time away from others. That was exactly what your father needed at that particular point in time. Mm. And uh, as the one who worked closely with him, I needed to ensure that he gets that. It was never my intention to, to hurt you. Please, don't hold it against me. Like I said before, I am very sorry. Forgive me. Well, it's okay. It's okay, Yikuko. But I have not forgiven you. <laughs> I know you have forgiven me. No. I have not forgiven you. Maybe you will tell me what will make it a forgiveness. By dropping the glass and getting out. Really? Yes. to work. It's my off day today. Okay. I hope all is well. Oh, yes, sorry. Um, actually, I was just wondering if you have a matchbox in the house. Matchbox. Okay, hold on, let me check. Matchbox. Really? Why the hell did I say much, boss? Why do I mess this up all the time? God. Hit myself. Okay. Here. Thank you. You're welcome. Shut it off. You wanted to polish your nails. Yes, I said so. But by myself. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. Come off it, IJ. I know you're trying to do me I mean, a favor, but I would rather do it myself. Okay? Why don't you go look for better things to do? There is nothing better to do, my princess. Excuse me? My princess, is it that you don't like me? 
Because you can just say it and I will be on my way to my father's house. Excuse me again? Yes. You have never let me do anything for you. Since I came here, I have never ironed or washed your clothes. I have never cleaned your room. Most times, when you want to eat from the kitchen, you make your food yourself. The only thing I do is run minor errands for you. Which of course leaves me free most of the days. My princess, I am supposed to be your personal maid. But you don't allow me to do anything. IJ, you have cleaned my room. Remember? That was just once, when you were terribly sick. Um, Ejoa, <laughs> you are still new in this palace. My princess, I have been here for more than a year now. Okay, okay, fine. Ejoma, the truth is I love doing things by myself. Mm. I was brought up that way. My mother trained me to do some certain things by myself. I'm sure if she was still alive, you wouldn't even be here. I do not hate you. Then, my princess, allow me to polish your nails. No. I can do. Okay. Um, why don't you make me a bowl of salad? Because mm -hmm. I'll be expecting my friends. What do you think? A bowl of salad it is, my princess. <laughs> You told me we were going to see Chief John up there. So, how did it go? Um, he tried his best, but his best wasn't good enough. I don't understand what you mean by that. Um, right before me, he called the MD of my bank, pleading with him to give me the loan. But a lot of things came up. But the summary of the whole thing is that I didn't get the loan. Well, I thank God. I've been vindicated. You see that man? He's heartless. You mean the bank MD? How can you call him heartless? You've not had any business deal with him. Listen to me, Chisora. I don't mean your MD. Like you said, So, who are you calling heartless? Chief John, bro, of course. Are you for real? Why are you calling him heartless? Oh, listen to me. If that man wanted to help you, he would have simply given you 10 million naira to create your say samples. Now, calling the MD of your bank in your presence to me is misleading. The man is just playing to gallery, pretending to care. And trust me, I don't like that kind of people. All that. To say the least, I am very surprised. You know, I can't believe you came all the way down to my private residence and school just for this. What did you to talk to her? Well, Dad, you should have just called me on the phone. This, this is serious and very important. Your sister is of age. <laughs> Dad, you were so 15th century. You're so old school. Well, I'm sorry about that. Listen, I'm a traditional ruler whose only daughter is 30 and unmarried. Mm -hmm. And from the impression she gave me, I can accept that she doesn't even have a boyfriend. And uh, that makes it more serious. Dad. Yes. Uh, listen, I, I may sound desperate. I agree. I, would, I need your sister to get married soon. And I want every member of this family to make it their personal mission to get them just to do that. Hmm. Dad, I see you're very serious about this. Very. Hmm. That's good. Now I'm not going to miss this very beautiful opportunity. Yes. So, um, I want to know what's in for my efforts. Balls. Dad. You're my son. And I've made you richer than even the vice chancellor of this university. Mm -hmm. I don't believe you are going to make me pay for this indirectly. Indirectly? Dad. I hardly do anything indirectly these days. I'm straight. Now I'm going straight. 
Dad, I need motivation. How do you motivate me? Inspire me to do this. Person, talk of motivation. Okay? I'll motivate you. You're my son, like I said. And everything I have belongs to you. Yes? And I have your name as next of kin and practically all the documents to my assets. So why are you exhibiting a small boat mentality by asking for little and little things? Oh, wait, wait, Dad. You mean everything, everything you own, everything you practically own is mine? Fine, Dad. Can I have the no? I mean, now. <laughs> Dad, I got you. I got you. I was just kidding. Oh, the <laughs> traditional ruler of Obuduku Kingdom. I hear you. That I'm at your service. Any day, any time. You got me. You got me. <laughs> Dad. My goodness, I'm so furious. This salad was something else. Did you prepare it yourself? Mm mm. Courtesy of my maid. Oh. Wow. I must say she has good culinary skills. Seriously. You can say that again. <laughs> Indeed, she is amazing. I had a fight with Ken last night. Ken? <laughs> the Ken? Yes. <clears throat> so you guys are not going out? Ah, we met for a drink yesterday and something led to another. We ended up at his place yesterday. <laughs> Can you hear yourself talk? Something led to another. I mean, do we look like kids to you? Well, fine. We've been close for some time now. Girlfriend, <laughs> pay off. Wait, you guys had a bet on me and Ken. Oh, come off it. I mean, it was it was so of yours. My princess. Yes, Ejuma. I'm done. You're done with the dishes. Oh, my bad. Um, okay. No problem. Thank you. So, as I was saying, I think she still needs something else. Uh, IJ, any other thing? Any problem? There is nothing left for me to do. Okay, um... I think my wardrobe needs to be arranged. I mean, it's so messy. Help me fix it up, okay? Yes, my princess. Thank you. Sweetie. <sighs> okay, wait. Jesus. Why wasn't I born a princess? Huh? Not just a princess, a princess to a royal home, to a charismatic king also. Oh, come off it, please. You guys are sounding like it's a big deal. Oh. Not like I give her much chores, you know. Of course. You love to do things yourself. I wish you can switch parents. Yes. My will love you to the moon and back. Huh? Yes. The lazy girl. You no. are so damn lazy. Now, wait, ladies. Back to you, Amanda. But tell us all the nasty details about you and Ken. Where can I always start from? Start from anywhere before we start our time. Okay. So, seriously, you need to stop. I mean, you need to let it go. Listen, I'm only advising you as a friend. Why? Is he married? Fidelia! He's your boss. So? You really don't know the kind of man he is. That's the point. I really want to know the kind of man he is. <sighs> Fidelia, you don't need to know the kind of man he is. Other than knowing and respecting him as your boss, as the chairman and the CEO of this company. <laughs> That's all you need. Sylvia, my friend, I want him and I'm going to get him. You are still my child, and it is my duty to guide you. Mother, 
is there any problem? Your father is neck deep into cultism. And he is doing everything possible to please them and leave. One way or the other, it will connect you in a very painful way. So I want you to still be that child I bore and stand your grounds. <clears throat> Mother, wait. This whole thing is so confusing. Are you trying to tell me that my father is a cultist? Yes. I understand that you want to get married before you say yes to any man be sure in your heart that you know him on no account must you accept any man your father presents find your husband yourself My lord, uh, you remember Felix, the son of Ije Zumba? Felix, I don't remember him. Oh, you can't remember the one that won the scholarship to the university in London a few years back. Wow, that's him. <laughs> I'm glad you remember. I mean, he's here in the palace. Oh, um, a nice. No, no, no. You don't have to stand up. Greetings. Oh, what a gentleman he is. <laughs> if I recall, both of you were very close friends just before he left for London. Uh, uh, yes, Dad. Um, we were just friends. Well, I came back a few days ago. All I could think of was here. Oh, that, that's true. <laughs> of course. Definitely. I mean, I was in his house yesterday and his father was practically begging me to allow both of you meet because since he returned he has not stopped speaking about you <laughs> uh, i am flattered um father can i see you in private i am so sorry felix if i sound rude but um you see this is an urgent matter that needs an urgent attention father shall we So do not even dare to give me that pretentious look on your face. Well, do you blame me? He's the son of a very influential man in this kingdom. He's interested in you. Well, I am not interested in him. You better go back in there and end whatever you began with him because you would be making a mockery of yourself. What? You're going to reject him? When he has not even made his intention known? Come on. You know what, Dad? I am not very fine. I am not in the mood to receive visitors. So why don't you make excuses for me for today? Thank you. Greetings, Your Majesty. Thank you. Please sit. I'm very sorry there's been an emergency at the office and uh, the princess had to rush over there. She sent her regards though and her regrets, sorry. I hope everything is fine. Oh, it will be. <laughs> Certainly. Um, why don't I just take you on a tour of the palace? Thereafter, treat you to a very palatable lunch. I'm sure you'll like it. Sounds like it's a plan. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you, sir. Good morning. 
You're ready to go to work? Yes, morning. How are you? I'm good, thank you. You didn't go to work today? Uh, I'll go. Hello. Okay. Um, I hope all is well. Um, <laughs> yes. Um, actually, I, I, I came to return your match bus. Okay. Where, where, where is it? Um, I think I must have forgotten to come with it. It's okay. It's okay. Don't even bother returning it. Okay? Oh. That's fine. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, I'll be on my way now. Oh, oh okay. Have a nice day. And you too. Yeah. He's so sexy. How can a woman have all these attributes? About what? The food, of course. Um, do you really want to know what I think? Well, yeah. Well, I think it will destroy your career. Sylvia, you're such a cute joy. <sighs> wow, ladies. Hmm. I smell something nice. What? Something well prepared. So tell me, is that for me? Welcome, sir. Thank you, beautiful ladies. Um, he just stepped in. He's in his office. Okay. All right, I had that to see him now. Okay. smiling like that? Well, nothing really, just that it has come to my notice that um, the girls out there were dying for you. Oh, that. Uh, you noticed? <laughs> I didn't know you noticed. Yeah, you knew. Oh, initially I noticed the look in her eyes whenever she's speaking to me. But I didn't just give attention to that. Not until this morning, she came to my doorstep in, with the pretense of returning the matchbox she collected from me a few days ago. <laughs> well, are we still talking about the same person here? Who are you talking about? No, I, I, I should ask you, who are you talking about? Amaka, of course. No. It therefore means there is more than one person here. What do you mean by there are more than one? You know you're one lucky bastard. <laughs> Look at you. Worried, sick about your business. Whereas there are ladies out there who are ready to die for you. I tell you this. Just um, make advance to us well. Or rather all of them. And I'll get that loan for you. One way or the other. Trust me. Roland, see, I really don't care about all these girls. Today, I'm like a book. They judge me by my cover. Can you imagine the look on Amaka's face when she was speaking to me? It's like she just undressed me there and then. See, I want a woman that will not just be a friend, a woman that will be like my wife, my sister, my mother, if possible. I will get that motherly care that I did not get when I was growing up as a child. <laughs> just listen to yourself, you know you sound amusing. You know what I'm telling you? All what you just said is bad, Dash. Yeah. Let me tell you something. That kind of woman you're looking for. 
does not exist. Even if the two exist just on telenovelas. We are in a digital world, friend. And in this digital world of ours, even the women want to be spoiled by their husbands. They want to be pampered, they want to be treated with care and love. No woman in this digital world is ready to become your mother again. So, you better adjust your, your mindset. <laughs> Believe me, she was out there okay. someday with time. I will find her. Your father, Your father is in the deep into cultism. Before, Before you say, say yes, yes to any man, man. be sure in your, your heart that you know him. On no account must you accept that any man your father presents. Find him as well yourself. My father is neck deep in courtism. How is that even possible? I mean, I've lived with this man all my life and I haven't seen any sign. Does it mean he's very good at covering up his tracks? Men like us like that walk closely with, with kings, kings and men in authority are not moved by tales of urgency. For we have, we have a different meaning of urgency entirely. Do not, Do not insist to see the drink now for what will not happen. That may be suggestive, but certainly not enough proof. Damn, I need to get a very good proof. And I will. My princess, yes, sir. you sent for me. Um, has the king gone out? Yes. Are you sure? Yes, he drove out a few minutes ago. Did you see him driving out in the south? Like he was driving out? Yes, I saw him with two naked eyes. He drove out. <sighs> okay, you may go. Juma, what is it? What's wrong? Uh, my princess, it's just that I have finished cleaning your room, rearranged your closet, and I am and trying... And you do not have any other thing to do. As usual. Good. Um, why don't you go to my room? Open my drawer. You will find some books in there. Pick any of them. Entertain yourself, read them. And I'm sure it is going to be keeping you so busy. Why don't you think so? You can go. Okay, my princess. There is nothing here, and there is nothing in his room. <laughs> is it that clever or I'm just being paranoid? <sighs> but 
my mother said that my father is a ghost. I might not have any clue or evidence, but I am certainly sure that my mother was not lying. I know what to do. I would wait and see how all this plays out. of rice and I brought some to the office. I was waiting for your guest to leave so that I can serve you. Oh, that's very nice of you. Very nice. But I'm having a lunch date with a potential customer. Okay, boss. Enjoy your lunch. Good. I, I think we should deal with this one first before we have to. Are you crazy? All right, ladies. All right. <laughs> okay, so can you not be lenient enough to serve the food for those of us that want to eat? <laughs> what? But well, I'm hungry now. Would you give me food? Serve the food now. <laughs> Poor thing. I cannot believe this. You came all the way to this place to tell me about this. What happened to mobile phones? Well, Tony, you see, this is very, very important. You see? Steve is my very good friend. He has always liked you from the first day he set his eyes on you. I'm asking you to go on this date with him. Just this one. I'm sure you will like it. Paul, if I recall, this friend of yours, Steven, he's way older than you. So since when did you guys start becoming this close? <laughs> Are you trying to tell me you know my friends? Mm -mm. No, not at all. But I can swear that father put you up to this. What? Okay, fine. What if he did? I knew it. I mean, I knew there was no way you would come to tell me this if father was not involved. What is going on? You and father are now ganging up on me? Is that it? <clears throat> well, Sandy, no one is ganging up on you. All we want is your happiness. Sandy, you need to find love. Feel it. I'm sure you're going to love it. Because love is a beautiful thing. Don't you get lonely at times? How do you survive? <sighs> you know what, Paul? I am so disappointed in you. Even you. Well, since you were good in matchmaking, why don't you go get a second wife for our father? Yes. Don't what? you think that would be so nice? What did you just say? You heard me. That would be so nice of you. Rubbish. Sandy. Sandy! Sandy! Thousands of confusion. I knew this wasn't going to be easy. People keep on wondering. But when I close my eyes, I see to love. Greetings, Your Highness. Greetings, Onogu. You look perturbed. What is the problem? Please sit. Thank you, Your Highness. But I prefer to start. Ah, oh no. Your Highness, what is going on? I don't understand. What do you mean by what is going on? I decided to come here personally because of the respect I have for our friendship. No, hold on. Listen, my lord. What is the problem? Come with the point. Your Highness, 
Okasi, the great priest of Obudu who was just at my house. What about him? According to him, there is a dark force emanating from this palace. So strong that he can feel it in his bones. He kept saying that the throne of Obuduku is sitting in darkness. So I asked him to come here with me. So where is he? So that we speak with you. Which he agreed. But on getting to the palace gate, he refused to enter. What? Why? As I speak to you now, Akase has gone back to his house. And he said, until this palace is cleansed, he will never step his foot into this palace again. <laughs> now the question is, Your Highness, what sort of king will you be if the great priest refused to enter into your palace again? <laughs> your Highness, is there anything you are not telling me? This is strange. I do not understand all this myself. Come to think of it, a dark force could be emanating from the palace. But whatever is causing that dark force is surely not from within this palace. It could be an external force. I mean, <laughs> for crying out loud, I am a king and I have enemies everywhere. Any of them could try anything. <clears throat> I will now go back and find a way to pacify your castle. We have to find a solution to this problem. Um, wait, why don't you just uh, wait and have some refreshment? Promise to protect me. You said your presence will never be felt or noticed by anyone. What is happening now? Why are they suspecting? Why are you silent? Speak to me! Oh! Is that how we do it now? You ignore me now? Fine! Your Majesty, are you sure of this? What if I tell them and they refuse to agree? The big them agree. Tell them the offer is from me. Make them an offer of money they will never refuse. I don't know why you're asking me all these questions. All your life you have been a schemer. You sure know how to handle this. Come on. Well, with the kind of money you are willing to spend on this, I am so certain that money is going to speak. And definitely money is going to answer all things. Certainly. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> My man. Roland. Yeah. Why are you here today? Well, first of all, today is Sunday. A day where we go out to visit friends. You're wrong. Sunday is a day to go to church. After visiting your friends. Or maybe before. Roland, you're here to see Amaka. I hate it when you act as if you know me so much. Oh my goodness. Roland, you know that you're here to see Amaka. I'm here to prove myself right and prove you wrong. What makes you think that she will be here today? I see. She's about. I'm an expert in human matters. And if I'm still on top of my game, I'll tell you this. I'm not going to be here to see you. 
Probably she will come with food. Good morning, Chizoba. Good morning, sir. You're welcome. Good morning. I prepared a huge pot of pancane stew today. So I decided to bring some for you. I know you will like it. Oh, thank you very much, but we'll just eat. Well, I, I think I would want it. Really? Yeah, I cannot possibly say no to food prepared by a beautiful woman. Oh, you flatter me. Thank you. No, I should be the one thanking you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Well, I will try and get the food flax for you once he's done with the food. Mm, all right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you once again. Mm. You see, I told you. Now look, that is a woman who is ready to be a mother to you. Yeah, Roland. And if you don't mind, I have to excuse myself. I need to do this for the way I like it. <laughs> well, that I tried my best, but the lady would not budge. What would I have done? Yes, Dad. I came home to talk to her. It didn't work out, so I had to leave. She's not been taking my call since then. <laughs> well, listen, Dad. You and I know Sandy very much. She is a very stubborn woman with a mind of her own. Hmm? Sandy will definitely get married at her own time. There's nothing you and I or any other person can do about that. Let's let her be. That was just my suggestion, Dad. I don't know what else to say. What? Okay, Dad. Your man. If you won't eat my food, you might as well eat me. <laughs> no, 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 Fidelia. This is too much. This is too much. You need to stop. You need to stop while you still can. Be very careful. Listen. Face the business that brought you to Chizoba Construction Limited. Yes, yes, I know that the business might still be small and the pay may be next to nothing. But I believe in tomorrow. I believe we can help him. We can assist him build this business. And I know he's going to be very grateful. So would you quit acting like a child and just act your age for once? Listen, Celia, you're such a kill job. It's okay. A word is enough of the wise. You are not properly dressed. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry.
something does not seem right here. Actually, the princess sending us a message to meet her up here with a strange number, only for us to get here and she's not here. I don't get it. I guess same here. Actually, the princess did not send any message to you girls. I did. And that is because I need a favor from you. Why do I suddenly feel that this is an assignment? A more for mission. Well, ladies, I will say immediately that it is um, maybe a combination of two of them. But why do you want us to do this? Why do you want to get the princess married this badly? You are sad already. She is a princess. And then she is ripe for marriage. Don't you think? But there are princesses who are older than her that are not married yet. And like, if I remember, this is the 21st century where ladies are allowed to choose their own men. Okay. And I equally know that this is the 21st century, like you said, where people hardly do anything without being paid. On that note, I am going to present you with an information. How will you react if I tell you that what I presented to you already is an order from the king that comes with an incentive? This is insane. Listen, 10 million naira with a car for anyone that gets the princess married. 10 million naira? What? Wait. Hold on. The money and the car will be presented to the fellow the very day the princess says I do. So I want you guys to think about it. That's the number that sent you the text that brought you here. That's my number. You can send me a text when you make up your mind or you can as well call me and we can pick it up from there. So you ladies, you, you think about it. Convince his daughter to get married. I don't really care. Ten million naira is not the kind of money you reject in this our country today. But still, Amanda, ten million naira, ten million naira. If you are not interested, I for one, I am not just interested. I'm down with it, girl. Oh, so it's now a competition? Yeah, bring it on. Bring it on, girl. Okay, challenge accepted. Okay. He said that to you. He didn't even spare me a second glance. If you think that, I am warning you. Be very careful. Don't say I didn't want you. He's playing hard to get. But trust me, I'm gonna get him. Okay. A word is enough for a wise. Actually, uh, I am here for the flask. Oh, the flask? Yes. I see. Okay. What did I do wrong? How did I get it wrong this time? <laughs> oh, not again. Oh, okay. Mm. Mm. Thank you very much. Eh? God yeah. bless you. Mm. You're welcome. Thousands of confusion. Yeah, yeah. Thousands. 
millions of questions The more people keep on wondering ah. But when I close my eyes I see true love So beautiful So, beautiful. so sweet So sweet true. I want to ask you a question. Your private meetings, when do you usually have them? What? I mean your private meetings, what time do you usually have them? Why exactly do you ask? Because that I would want to know when not to disturb you. Oh, I see. Well, sometimes there are matters that need urgent deliberation. In other words, there is no particular time. Nope. Well, not really. But any time you see Coco standing outside the throne room, stay away. What if it has to do with a matter of life or death? Sandy, I am a king. And I commune with the ancestors. You know, ancestral worship is part of our existence in this part of the world. Yes, Dad. Okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am planning to call her father and ask him to keep his daughter a check. I don't understand what you mean by that. And who is this girl you're about insulting by going to warn her father? Amaka. Amaka. The same girl that prepared the delicious rice that we ate. The rice that you ate. Do not get me involved because I did not eat it. Okay, whatever. But what has she done? You want to report her to her father simply because she prepared Sunday rice for you. That she cooked wasn't the problem. But she has continued throwing herself indifferently at me. Then grab her and make her feel good. That is what the young girl wants. And you have to do that first. Before she starts seeing you as gay. Roland, let us end this topic and tell me why you're here. Very well, in that case, I'll tell you. I am here to check on my friend who is using the little money he gets from his site engineering job to pay two babes every month for practically doing nothing. That is why I'm here. This man, one thing you understand is that we have different approaches to business. You can't continue coming here to throw your ideas at me. I will not take it. Yes. You land. Hey, hey. What do you think you're doing? What? What do you mean, what? Are you going inside there, dressed like this? Yes. Don't you know that you have a guest? Yes. I'm simply trying to be a slut for my mom. Oh, do you have a problem with that? No, I don't have a problem with that. I only have the problem with the fact that you are going to lose your job very soon. 
Seriously, Sylvia, you need to stop being a wet blanket. It doesn't suit you. It doesn't suit me. Sandy, Mark is a medical doctor. He attended medical school in India. He's so handsome and from this community. And Mike is a chartered accountant. Yes. He is tall, handsome, and soft spoken. Girl, you'll fall in love with him. <laughs> this is strange. What? <laughs> Come off it. You both know how much I hate matchmaking. And here you are trying to hook me up with someone. But Sandy, you're single. You've been single for a very long time. Okay, I know. The last guy you dated really hurt you, but that was a long time ago. Don't you feel lonely? Don't you want to move on with your life? Okay, fine. Don't you want to love again? And I'm sure the idiot is probably married with kids of by course. now. Come on, girl, you have to move on. Go out there. Meet new guys, more interesting guys. Go on dates. Fall in love, get married. <laughs> Swear that my father did not put you up to this. Sandy. Oh, do not Sandy me. What did you just say? Oh, please. You both would get me angry if you continue to, to claim the fact that you do not know what I am talking about. Sandy. Now tell me, how much did he offer you? Sandy. Oh, do not Sandy me. Don't. Sandy. I can't believe this. I thought we were friends. Now look me in the eye and tell me my father did not offer you anything. Go ahead! I thought as much. I am so disappointed. Sandy! Oh, please! Come on, Shh. girl. Ah, oh, it's not right. Oh, so you now want to talk? I asked you a question and you ignored me. I asked you for help, you ignored me. Only when you want to send me a message, you descend and speak to me. Now let me even ask you, why must you only speak to me in this throne room? Why not in my room? Because I made you king, so I will not speak to you in any other place in this palace except the throne room. You must always see on the throne before I will start speaking to you. Okay, I'm listening. I will your time, Mr. The fact, the fact that I say you have three more years to live does not mean you have to wait three years before you get your daughter married. Get her married as soon as possible. Can't you see that she's not cooperating? Can't you see that? I'm doing everything possible, but she will not bend. What do you expect me to do? Help me out here. Tell me what you expect me to do. What else must I do? Oh, you've gone mute again. You've gone mute again. Oh. Let me guess. Private meeting? Yes, private meeting. You cannot see him. I see. You know, with the volume of things you write every day, I wonder what would have happened if you were a lecturer. You'd have certainly bored your students to death. My friend, allow me to concentrate. Wow. 
has anybody ever told you today that you look very well, rich? I like the sound of that, sir. Thank you, sir. Is this how you dress? Is this? I don't like it, sir. I'm sorry. You know what? To be honest, one of these days, I am going to get rich of this girl. I am going to fire her for real. For real. The young girl is just in love. With who? With her boss? What kind of a man does she think I am? Oh, no, no, no. Cut her some slack. What's wrong with you? Read my lips. One day, I am going to fire her. And that's fine. Now. All right then. It's your office. You decide what happens here. Yeah. If you listen to me, I say this. That girl is on fire. And I will fire her for that fire. Sorry, I'm going to do that. Sylvia, why is it so rude to me? I mean, why? He is your boss. That's not even a thing. In your word. <laughs> Listen, Fidelia, I am warning you. Be very careful. Don't say I didn't warn you. Be very careful. What is your problem, Sylvia? I was the one who got embarrassed, and not you. Okay. Hey, Coco. What are you doing here? I, I thought you were supposed to be with my father. Yes, you yeah, actually got up and shake him the head. That's all right. <laughs> what are you doing here? I... Okay, uh... Wait, did I hear you say elders? No, there are no elders here. I, I mean, um, maybe they haven't arrived yet. I will keep the king informed. Okay, yes, you should. you understand the housing deficit in Nigeria. By the official release in the Population Commission, we are 180 million people in Nigeria. But statistics has shown that we have just 1 million houses in Nigeria. That is a far cry from what is required. Sir, please, I need help. I need to be motivated. 
have a template that can help solve housing deficit in Nigeria. I'll call you back. Yes? Won't you have please offer me a seat? I am busy. Can I get a moment of your time? I don't have that time to spare. Seriously, she's over. What is wrong with you? What exactly? Why are you so uptight? Uptight? Yes. Take a look at me. I mean, take a very good look at me. Am I not woman enough for you? Am I not beautiful? I bring myself to your doorstep every day, hoping that you will notice how available I am to you. But you don't even look. As a bachelor, you come back every night to this lonely apartment. Yet, the woman that would do anything to be with you is disregarded. What kind of a human being are you? What exactly do you want in a woman? Amaka, I... I just... Wait, oh, are you trying to say you're sorry? Uh, uh, no, no, no. Not exactly. Mm. I, I, I don't just know how to tell you that I'm not just interested. <sighs> are you serious? Uh, yes. Let's see, Amaka. I am taking my time to build my life. Women are the least of my worries right now. But I hope that someday you find a man that can love and care for you. But for me, I'm not interested. <laughs> oh my God. A man should be able to say what he means and mean what he says. my salary. Well, the board of directors of Chevo Oil and Gas decided to increase your salary from 3 million to 5 million naira monthly. How is that? Is it not enough? Why, if I may ask? Simple. Uh, let's just say that uh, I'm not looking for you to marry a money bag. Whoever you bring, a papa, a billionaire, doesn't matter to me. Because the wealth I have is enough to settle your brother, yourself, your spouses, and your children for life. So my dear, just relax. Bring whoever it is that your heart yearns for, and I'll settle you for life. Father, can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Why are you bent on getting me married? Why? Well, let's just say that I can't wait to have my grandchildren. So, my dear, get married, be happy, and I have my children. Okay, see you soon. Hmm. Why, why, why is he doing this to me? Where would I even find this man that will trigger the interest in me? Where? About a week ago, sir. Okay. Are they still remaining? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I want you to share some today. Okay. Okay, sir. That's fine. Where is the elephant? 
Um, she went out to buy Richard's pet. Okay, convey my message when she comes back. Okay, so we are. Alright, I'll just... I have come to warn you. The fact that I told you not to accept any suitor coming through your father does not mean you should reject true love. I'm telling you this because soon you will meet him. But please do not push him away on account of your father's cultism. As long as the love both of you have for each other is strong enough, Nothing can harm you. But, uh, Mother, I don't understand you. The magic of love can only be understood by the people involved when the love is pure. Devoid of deception. That is the love that is coming to you. Your father will surely get involved, and that is why I am here. Do not be deceived by his involvement. Follow the magic and you will experience love. Why are you so late? I had to lie to the boss that you're going to buy a recharge card. So you're very lucky that he has an inner office. Oh, Sylvia, I'm sorry. It's just that I have something to take care of. Did you cut your skirt? Does it look like I did? But how else would you explain this abnormal short skirt? Oh, please. I have a serious diarrhea. Can you go without me today? I really need to be in one place. <laughs> okay, so that explains your lateness. I'm sorry. All right, I'll just go, but just know that you owe me one. to a good man or don't you like what you see? I ask you again, what are you doing? And I ask again, don't you like what you see? One more step towards me. You ever regret it? And I'll take my chances. Leave my office now. Leave my office. You are fired. Leave. Are you? How can you be so weak? 
wicked. If you don't get out of my office, I'm going to forcefully push you out from this office. I will leave. I will leave this old stupid office. Get out. God knows I have wasted my time here. Just go and never come back again. Fidelia! What's going on here? Rubbish! Fidelia! 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 Um, look around and see if you can see any responsible person that will help you share those flyers. I'm going to pay that person, okay? okay? But I don't ever want to see her in this office again. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Just go, 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 go. Okay, sir. Well, we're here to take our chances, aren't we? The princess is not around. What? What? Yes. She left the palace a few hours ago. But I saw Haka outside. Yes. Haka is here, but she is not here. Anyways, it's okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Well, I guess that's our cue to leave. Obviously, she does not want to see us. You're right about that. Well, let's take our leave. That's right. Girls, can you tell me what is happening? I need an update. We are sorry, sir, but we are off the game. We are no longer interested in manipulating Sandy yeah. into marriage. And who told you we are interested in manipulating anybody? Listen, girls. The money is just a gift of gratitude from the king. Not just for you to do something good for the king, but to do something good for yourselves as well. Don't you get? Well, no disrespect, sir. Tell the king to keep his money. We are no longer interested. Really? Yes. And our friendship with the princess has lasted since we were kids. Yeah. And we are not ready to give that up for anything. Mm -mm. Hi. Good afternoon, all. Yeah, it's beautiful lady. How may I be a friend? Good afternoon, sir. You're welcome. Actually, my name is Sylvia. Okay. I work with a construction company. Okay. Um, our agenda is actually housing for all. I know I like money, but you see this one? I'm off it. Oh, seriously, we're done. Here. Um, a marketer. Everything that you need to know about us, what we do and how we do it is in there. Okay. Nice try. Let him just come. Let's go. Yeah. Have a wonderful day. All right. I'll be expecting you, sir. Okay. Bye. Goodbye, sir. We have to go. Yes. We just have to go. Ijoma. Ijoma. Yes, sir. Come here. Yes, sir. Is the king done with his lunch? Yes, sir. Good. Take this and trash in the trash basket. Okay, sir. What did I say? Trash in the trash basket. Good. Yes, my princess. Oh. What's that? Uh, Mr. Kuku said I should trash it in the trash basket. Let me have a look. You may go. You can go. Okay, my princess. Something must have made them take that decision. 
Your Majesty, they failed to give me details. But they were very emphatic. They considered their friendship with the princess to be worth more than the offer we made them. And on that note, they decided to back out. I see. If they won't do it, I most definitely will find a way to get my daughter married. I'll do it my way. I can't afford to lose everything. What do you mean I shouldn't have fired her? What do you mean? She's every man's dream. She gave it to you on a platter of gold. You know, sometimes I keep asking God this question. Why does he prevent ladies like that from coming to me? If it were me, she would have been pregnant with my child. I will never descend to your level to see past the stupidity. Do you understand? That girl is extremely classless. In my whole life, I've never seen anything very irresponsible and very desperate. Mm. Anyway, you fired her, right? She's gone and it's all over. So can we now go and have lunch? I hope I taught her a lesson. I hope he's not one of his friends. Come on, she's about to pick your call. I don't even know why you don't come to me. This is Jesus of the Station of How may I help you? Sorry, bro, I thought you were What? Madam, it's a problem. Yes, you can call me Sandy. Yes. I don't know how your flyer got to the palace, but I must confess, after going through it, that I am impressed with your mission statement. So can you tell me more about it? Okay. The Nigerian population stands at 180 million people. And on the other hand, the Nigerian Union Society has confirmed that we just have one million houses for 180 million people. That is a far cry from what is required. So tell me, how will your company solve the problem? I have a template. We can build a four bedroom bungalow for one million naira. What a house, a state of art house. But I would love to come to your company sometime. You're most welcome, my process. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's an honor speaking with you. Do have a nice day. Thank you too. What do you mean that you have not made any progress? Why do you like to make somebody angry? It is already one year that I gave you this contract. And I paid you the kind of money I paid you because you were said to be very, very competent. Why are you proving otherwise? Nigeria is not as complex and complicated like America. This is Nigeria, where you can get anything. What's going on? Is our Boruku such a big kingdom that you cannot find just one person, Mr. Investigator? Why are you wasting a lot of time? Listen, I don't like to get angry. I have done everything possible to overcome anger. And I'm pleading with you, please. Don't get me angry because if you do, you will not like it. 
get busy find who i want you to find it is very important for me please oh no your highness something is about to tickle my nerves what could that be I have summoned the elders for a meeting in the palace three consecutive times. And three consecutive times have they ignored me. Why? Your Highness, as long as there is a dark cloud hovering over this palace, your elders have decided to withdraw from your council. They will not be attending meetings anymore. According to them, they will never step foot into this palace again until that cloud disappears. What dark cloud are you talking about? What do you mean? Your Highness, according to the chief priest of Oboduku, the spiritual head of the land, a dark cloud is hovering over this palace and the cloud has haunted him every now and then. So the others decided they will never be attending meetings until that is taken care of. And that brings me to this question. Iwa Kubeze, are you a cultist? What? How dare you? Why are you leaving me all to myself in this situation? Why? The elders are beginning to ask questions. Very soon, the entire Oboduku kingdom will start questioning the genuineness of their king. Help me out, please. Help me! Okay, I will find time tomorrow and then um, visit your office. Hope you'll be around. I am not going anywhere. I can come at any time. Okay then, see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, my princess. this office you've been staring at me what is it what is wow well it's just that uh, the cheese of our know does not dress like this except he has a special appointment or a meeting with a special client what <laughs> She's coming today, isn't she? Who? Oh. That is I'm right. Right about what? Okay, tell me. If you don't know what I'm talking about, why are you dressed like this? Roland, I don't know what you're talking about. You know, I am not going anywhere today. So I'm going to be here all day. Okay, see, you just have to stop getting ideas, okay? Look, I know she's very beautiful. And of course, very, very sick. Roland, don't you have any work appointment or something else to do today or something? Well, not today. Even if I have all this appointment, can I actually go to me? Listen to my friend. I feel like I'll be. I know about I'll be here.
My princess, you didn't tell me you were going out. Well, that is because I want to go out alone. Alone? Yes. <sighs> but you don't have to come with me today. I am just going to see the king. My princess. But the king said... I, the king is not going to fire you. So don't be scared. I will be back even before I'm being missed, okay? Okay, my princess. Why didn't you go out with the princess? She asked me not to, sir. And do you have any idea who she has gone to be with? With a friend, sir. I see. Someone here for you. Yes, who is that? The the princess of um, Upodo, Upu Kingdom. Oh, oh, really? She's here. Yes. Why didn't you bring her in straight away? Exactly what I wanted to do. But she said I should inform you of her arrival first. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful. Humble and single. Sounds to me like someone's um, ideal woman. It's all right. Let me get get out of my Hey, not so fast, Mr. Loverboy. Let the lady talk to you. What's wrong with you? What? Listen to me, friend. This lady has placed you at a certain level. Don't step down from it. Hmm? Sylvia. Sir. Please show the princess in. Okay. Seriously. <laughs> yeah, seriously. You are beginning to act like you are head over heels in love with this lady. What is what is what is wrong with you? Calm down. I know what I'm talking about. Glad to hear Oh. Oh. My lady. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You're welcome, my princess. It's Sandy. Oh. Sandy. I'm so sorry. Sandy, you're welcome. Thank you. Oh, my friend, uh, uh, sorry, Sandy. Meet my friend, Roland. Hello. Well, my lady, please respond. Well, I think I need to take my leave right away. Okay. I, I thought you don't have some other things to do today. Don't tell me you're leaving on my account. Oh, uh, no, my lady. You see, any man that will leave the room because of your presence in it, is that a blind? Roland, you have a way with words. Well, I just have loads of work waiting for me at the office. Okay. Bye. 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 And, um, my princess, I hope to have the company of the present some other time. Of course. All right then. <laughs> Bye once again. And, my princess, if he tells you anything bad about me, just know that he's lying. But if he says anything good about me, he's speaking the truth. You know, you, you're you going to be surprised the kind of words I will tell, I will tell her. My man, see you later. Uh, please, do have a seat. <laughs> Make yourself comfortable. Okay, um... Yes, how are you? I'm good. Iko, are you sure of what you're saying? Exactly, your majesty. She left the palace without her maid. And when I inquired, I was told she said she was going to see a friend. If she's going to see someone, I'll keep it easy. That's what I want. Yeah, I, but I'm just suspecting it is possible she's not sure of marriage with the person yet. Mm. Right. Mm. 
this is why this investigation was going. But um, that aside, how is yours going? Oh, such. Your Majesty, I am sincerely fed up with that investigator. It's been weak. It's been just going around circle and circle and circle without any vital information, without any lead. You have to calm down. This kind of job requires a lot of patience and discretion. You have to be calm, just calm down. This kind of job requires a lot of patience and discretion. If not, you'll make a lot of mistakes. I just, I just don't know what else to do. Patience. Patience, my dear. Patience. Wow. I can't believe he said all that. Yeah. Roland, he doesn't know any bound whatsoever. Mm. Anyway, he seems like a very nice guy. Yeah. But we're not being mischievous. He's an angel. We've been friends from college. Really? You know, I used to have friends like that. Oh, you do? What? Until they decided to gamble on our friendship. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, but I hope I won't be praying if I should ask what happened. No, not at all. But trust me, it is going to spoil my day if I should talk about it. Oh, you don't have to. You don't just have to. Okay. That aside, I really admire your kind of business. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome. So tell me, how how far have you gone in um, trying to reach out to the people in this kingdom? You know, my kind of locust houses are built with materials that are still new to my people, and but are very skeptical about it. But I don't just care. I am not going back. So tell me. Have you been able to build enough clients that will keep you in business? Um, you're my friend. I'm going to tell you the truth. The truth is this. I need capital to do this business. I actually need enough capital to create my own samples. Okay? Uh, I, I, I mean, I, I need to show people these samples. You know, they say seeing is believing. I understand. But with a business um, such as this, you can as well get loans from the banks. Have you tried it? Uh, yes, I did that already, but banks will not give loan to startups for the real estate business. So what about investors? Uh, I'm still on the lookout. Okay. What if I make you an offer? Will you consider me? What, Sandy? What? Come on, you don't have to give me the answer right now. I will give you time to think about it. It's just that five million naira is a huge amount of money. Five million? Yeah, that is the amount I need from the bank to create my own samples. Okay. I'll give you time to think about it, think about my offer, and then um, get back to me. Hmm? It's okay. I have to be on my way. I have to make a quick stop at okay. the office. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for coming around and thank you for your offer. So beautiful, so beautiful, so sweet, so sweet. True love only where true love is what I am waiting. Oh. Tell me. Dad. Who is he? Who is who? Your secret boyfriend, of course. Boyfriend? Yes. But I do not know what you were talking about. I see. Well, I just want you to know that I will take care of the entire wedding expenses. What? I believe my love will come one day. There's no need to bother. There is no need to worry. My brother, oh my sister. On your book, I'm for Nanya, got all of my beautiful.
sir. Sir. Yes. Um, you asked me to bring the inventory folder. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Any other thing? No, nothing. Um, sir, I'm sorry, Bob. Are you okay? Yes, of course, I'm fine. Okay. Now just go. I'm actually calling to know if your day went the way you planned it to be. <laughs> well, my dear, I cannot complain. It all went, it went on fine, it was fine. That's brilliant. I, you know, a thought of you crossed my mind and I, and I just think I should call you. I hope I'm not disturbing you with my call. Come off it. No, you are not. As a matter of fact, when you called me, I thought you wanted to tell me that you've accepted my proposal. Um, I'm calling you to tell you that it was nice having you around. Same here. Okay, I wish you all the best, Princess, and have a nice day. You too. I mean, continue working hard to stand like a man. You know, in this new era where people do a lot of crappy things to succeed in life, people like you, who are determined to walk in the path of legitimacy should be encouraged. You want to make me cry now? Mm -mm. <laughs> I am sorry if that is the case, but I'm, I just spoke my mind. Thank you for calling and um, remain blessed and lifted. Day. Princess, thank you for everything. You're just an amazing woman. May God bless you. I'll remain blessed too. Thank you. Bye. Don't, don't, let me understand. The princess wants to rest. Hell bent on it. So, what was the reply to her? What do you mean by what was my reply to her? I said no, of course. What? Wait, she's about, are you mad? Is something happening to your senses? What? We are talking about the princess of this kingdom. Now listen, her father is the owner of Chengu oil and gas, and five million naira is like tissue paper to them. See, I just... What is wrong with you? I don't just want anybody to feel that I'm after their money. Yes. Ah, my goodness. You just met this girl once. How come you've developed likeness for her like this? I don't know. I don't know what you're talking yes, about. Yes, you like her. Just why you like her. And that is why you're already thinking about the future with her. And that is why you are refusing a lifelike offer of five million naira. I don't just know what you're talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about. No. What? What? What are Why you doing? My phone. Uh -huh. That is it. You called her yesterday after she left. So what if I did? Why did you call? It's none of your business. Is it? Sister, ask this girl out. You like her, and I'm very sure she likes you too. Her accepting to lend you a whooping sum of five million naira is a proof. She's about to grab this girl and mesmerize her. Oh, are you black? Or are you black or big man?
How may I help you? Sandy, we are sorry. We shouldn't have accepted that offer. Yeah, she's right. We shouldn't have accepted that offer from him. Please find a place in your heart to forgive us. Sandy, we have come a long way. Don't let things like this destroy our friendship. Please, Sandy. It's okay. You know, I shouldn't blame you girls entirely. I mean, my father always have a way of making people do his parents. It's good. Does that mean we are forgiven? Bring it on, girls. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Don't worry, just take a seat. Girl, so you know. And so you know, girl. We told your father to suck it up and keep his money. You did what? Mm -hmm. No way! You told my father that and you were still alive? Uh, well, no, those exact words. We told Ikuku to tell him we are off the game. Yes. Ikuku? Yes, yes. He actually brought the offer to us on behalf of your father. <laughs> Unbelievable. Anyway, guess what, girls? What? I need your advice. Sandy, you shouldn't go on blind date or arrange marriage. It does not end well. Oh God, girl, far from that. Listen, I met this guy and I want to invest in his business. Excuse me, I don't think I understand that English correctly. She said she met a guy and wants to invest in his business. I wonder what is so difficult to understand. Girl, how much did we miss? Oh, I forgot I had a question for you. Oh. How did your day go? <laughs> well, it went too well. It was okay. If you can have lunch with me tomorrow, if you're going to be free by that time, but if you cannot, Chizoba, I come off it. Why don't you come out, Claire? Wait, are you asking me out on a date? Oh, I am sorry. I'm sorry for asking. Please forgive me. Are you seeing someone? Well, no. That depends if you are seeing someone too. Uh, are you? No, not at all. Okay, and why if I may ask? Have lunch with me tomorrow, then I'll tell you. <laughs> Is that supposed to be a blackmail? No, I'm just asking you from my heart to go on a date with me. Well, I will accept on one condition. That you accept my offer. Well, we'll see. Good night, Jezaba. Is that a yes? <laughs> well, we will see. Just get off my phone. You're interrupting me from watching my movie. Good night, Sandy. Good night. So beautiful. So beautiful. So sweet. So sweet. True love. He asked you out. Yes, you really did. Is it just me? Or are things not moving too fast now? I am beginning to worry. Sandy, you said he refused your offer of investing in his business. My love, you know what? That is where I have a problem. I mean, this guy bluntly refused. He doesn't want me to help him in any way financially at all. Sandy, don't be sarcastic. I fear for you too. Oh God, for Christ's sake, girlfriend. It was just a launch date, not some marriage proposal. That is how it all starts, but... But what? Well, if you must know, I accepted to go on a launch date with him. As you can see, I am already dressed. And that means that there is no stopping me. Sandy! What? Look, look, your friend. I understand your consent towards me and all this. 
But I just can't help the feeling I have in my court that this guy is responsible. And we know you have a weakness for his type. So how are you going to cope? Excuse me. What do you mean by his type? Hard-working guys who are overly focused in their means of livelihood. Yeah, determined workaholics. Well, girls, I do not know about workaholics. But I do know about people who want to succeed in life. People who are focused, that wants to make it in life legitimately. Sandy, please, can you describe Shibs Alba for us again? Um, you know what, girls, I am already late for my long date. So maybe we'll talk about you know more about this when I'm back. See you girls. Serious? <laughs> For real? Okay. I mean, at some point you have to say something to me. Wow. <laughs> wow. I, I, oh, oh my god, oh my god. Can you stop? I, I, I know, it's just that you look beautiful. Thank you. Oh my god. Come off it. Okay, um, just before we leave, I have something for you. Princess, what? Oh, not again. Sandy. Sandy. <clears throat> okay, I'm sorry about that. Sandy, what are you doing? And what do you think I am doing? This is too much. It is not. Come on, Fiji. I'm just trying to invest in the business. Like I promised. Okay. I took just take this morning. I mean, that special that I was going to go on and on. Finally, my problems are coming to an end. I can feel it. Good news? <laughs> kind of good news? Yeah! <laughs> I can feel it. Absolutely, I can feel it. Oh. <laughs> this is huge. Very huge. Why is she doing this? What will she think of me if I accept this? Should I really be taking money from a woman? What do I do? I can't accept this. I can't just accept. Twenty million naira, Sandy. You gave a man twenty million naira. Hey, oh, are you insane? Can you guys just stop? Put on your voices. It's just an investment for myself. Oh, badadash, badadash. Oh. I'm sure you girls know how much That money was nothing. The fact that you have over 50 million naira sitting in your account does not mean you give it all away. Listen, girls. Little things that people do entice me. I mean, I can know someone with a lot of potentials just by analyzing the person. Analyzing what he or she has done with little or no money. <sighs> Chaos. You need to see the flyers that his workers have been circulating. You will see that this guy has a clear ambition. He was just limited by funds. And I'm sure you know that the banks are not even ready to loan money to small businesses. <sighs> that guy needed that money. So I gave it to him. I believe in him. Oh, Sandy, and what will your father say if he finds out you gave away such an amount of money? He will leave my father out of this. I can handle him. All I just have to do is tell him that I'm getting married to the man I gave the money to. And trust me, he will be happy. Oh, yes. Okay, I have to ask this. Why is your father so desperate to get you married? What is going on? You know what, girl? Do me a favor. Please, when next you see him, Maybe you should try asking. Because you see this whole drama, this whole thing, it is very confusing. <laughs> Sandy, I think you should be careful. You have to be careful, very careful, so you don't make a mistake. Oh, yeah. I'm with you on that. Wait, wait. 
She gave you 20 million naira. This is unbelievable. Yes, she did. The money is already in my account as you speak. Look, man, you just struck gold. I don't know why these kind of things don't... You do not get too excited because I am going to return the money to her. Mm -hmm. Are you mad? See, Rolando, I don't want her or her any of her family members to get the wrong idea about me. I tell you this. You like her. I get it. But she gave you this money out of the goodness of her heart. Chizoba, think. Think of what 20 million naira will do to your business. All those templates you advertise here and there. With 20 million naira, they all can be executed. Let's think about the banks. Those banks have refused giving you loan. She's about with 20 million naira investment in your name. I bet you, all those banks will consider you as potential clients. Look, you, you might think you're doing the right thing. But think of the princess. You might hurt her. Listen, I want you to think. She's about to think before you make a hasty decision that will ruin your relationship with the woman you like. She called it an investment. Right? Treat it like what? The money is already in my account. But I'm going to accept it only on one condition. She's so I mean, I don't know why you keep bringing in conditions in all this. Fine. The money I give to you is a gift. I only give it to you because I don't even know what to do with the money in my account. I realized you had potentials, but limited by funds. So you see, the money is a gift and nothing else. Sandy, I don't know why you must make a gift of 20 million to someone. It's outrageous. Now the condition is this. We are going to come to a time that the money is going to be an investment which must be accounted for. Okay, if that will make you happy, I agree. Which means your lawyer must meet with my lawyer. Fine. One more thing. What is wrong with this guy? Nothing is wrong with me. I want to make you a lunch in my place tomorrow. What? You cook? <laughs> I know how to boil water. <laughs> okay. That means you are going to boil hot water for me, right? Definitely, the hot water must be very tasty. Do we have a deal? Deal. Good night, Chizoba. Good night, Sandy. I was cleaning the car. Okay, let me have My princess. Yes. Why are you going dressed like this? Excuse me. How am I dressed? Do I look naked? No. no so? I'm sorry. I am going out. And you're not coming with me. Your Majesty, I understand how you desperately need the princess to be married. But sincerely, I am not concerned. Good so. Your Majesty, you needed to have seen how the princess was dressed when she was leaving the palace this evening. Not only did she discard all her royal regalia and the 
accessories as the princess. She practically left on her house clothes. I see. Your Majesty? Oh, Ikuku. The princess is a grown woman. Leave her to do what she likes. Wow. Did you actually make this? This is amazing. I mean, who would believe that we still have young men? Like you are there who knows how to cook. I think I should get married to you right away. <laughs> what? I'm flattered. I get it, but this is actually very good. <laughs> Hmm. Amazing. Thank you very much. So, oh. I forgot drinking water. Please, let me get the job. Drinking water. Sorry. Okay. The process is not back yet. No, sir. Where specifically did she tell you she was going? She didn't say. She only said she was going out. And as the one that works very closely with her, do you have any idea where she could be this time around? No idea, sir. Malif. That was a good meal. Thanks for coming. <laughs> you really are a good cook, you know. And you are a good company. Thank you. So tell me, hope I've met all your conditions. Um, Sunday. Mm -hmm. Please, I would like you to join me again for another lunch tomorrow. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you giving me another one, like another condition? Oh, no, 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 no. Then you what? See, I love your company. I just want you to join me for another one. Okay, um, I'll think about it. And I will take that to be a yes. No way, I've not said yes. Yeah. Okay, I'll get back to you on that. I really have to get going. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, what's that? What? Oh, oh, what's that? I'm sorry. No, it's okay. You don't have to be sorry. Um, I have to get going. Okay. Is it a time you brought the young man home for us to meet? Father, I do not know who you're talking about. I'm interested. I want to meet that young man. Bring him home and introduce him to the king. Appreciate it. If you can make it snappy, why did you call me? I just wanted to be sure, hearing it from you firsthand, that you know exactly what you are doing with that young man yourself. 
Excuse me. Please, don't see it as if I'm trying to pry your private affair. But I've seen you twice now. Leave this palace without your name. And your point is? Be very careful with me. Many of them are looking for ladies that are in your class that they will take advantage of. I don't want anybody to take advantage of you. That's my point. Jezova, you cooked for a woman. Sure I did. <laughs> this is actually unbelievable. Hmm. How come you've come to like this woman like this? I don't know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> and I sincerely don't believe that this is true. Remember a few weeks ago, you told me here that you wanted a woman who would be like a mother to you. And uh, what has that got to do with anything? You practically acted like a mother to the princess. Look, I don't know what was in your mind, but I tell you this. You have won Princess Sandy's heart. And you have to make a stronger move. My, my, my. Ha! The man just made his final move to completely win your heart. <laughs> what? Ha! He cooked for you. Sandy, the man cooked for you. Even the blind can clearly see what is going on here. Are you girls for real? What are you talking about? It was just a lunch. And what was his reason for doing that? It was just a thank you for investing in his business. Ah. Uh. What's how? Whatever. Well, if you girls will excuse me, I have a lunch date. I am late already. So I'm... Um, see ya. Okay. Bye-bye. She's seriously doing it. Please. Um, see if you have I'm fine. You're welcome. My boss is in the just... No, no, don't worry. I actually want to talk to you, if you don't mind. No, no, I don't mind. Um, you can take a seat. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. It's about the day I was um, going out with your boss. I saw the shock on your face. Can you tell me why you had that look? Um, I'm really sorry, my princess. I, I didn't mean to disrespect you. Mm, it's okay. Truth be told, I have never seen my boss look at another woman the same way he looks at you. I mean, it was just all new to me. Wow. I don't even know what to say. Yeah, no. But, <laughs> but you two look very good together. You seem like a perfect match. Mm -mm. Really? Yes. <laughs> I'm so sorry if I'm being too forward. No, 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 no. It's okay. Actually, you, you know, you remind me of my two best friends and my mate. They are so blunt, just like you. <laughs> really? Yes. Okay, that's nice. Because there's something I've been dying to say to you. Really? Hit mm -hmm. me. Say it. Mm -hmm. What is it? Uh, it's um, actually you without your royal regalia. What about it? I think that it's extraordinary. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, I mean, it doesn't really make you look so powerless. Yeah, in as much as you're looking very simple, it only gives you this kind of um, aura. <laughs> in the sense that, I mean, people who don't know you, when they see you like this, they intend to treat you like a commoner. Oh. But they will be shocked. 
to find out that you're a princess. Oh. I think that that gives you more power over them. <laughs> it is extraordinary to always appear me and at the same time, do I so much power? Yes. <laughs> so wherever that you got this idea from, I think that it's, it is dope. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've said so much, my No, no, no. It's okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, Celia. You know, you are a nice girl. Thank Keep you. it up. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and, um, those earrings. What about my earrings? <laughs> they look so beautiful on you. Thank you. <laughs> but maybe do I say that to you too? Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Well, you've said it now. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Celia. Thank you. You are really a nice person. <laughs> Keep it up. Thank you. Thank you so much, princess. Mm -hmm. um, Keep going. Thank you. Wow. Here she comes again. The glorious princess of Ubudubu Kingdom. The love of my life. The light that it remains my world. I welcome you once again. Thank you. <laughs> well, just before you start with your praises, can we go for lunch? Why not? Let's go. Please, send me every information you have gathered already. Yes, every single thing you have gathered, every material you have gathered in the course of this investigation, I want you to send everything to me. If it is taking you this long to mask a very simple thing, like the task I gave you, it actually means you are very incompetent. And I swear to God, I don't like working with incompetent people. Send everything, send everything back to me urgently. That man is one of the best private investigators in this town. Give him some time. I am sure. That and remember, this has been several years ago. Exactly my point. Exactly my point, Your Highness. It is several years ago. What if this... Oh, this is not the time for what ifs. Give him some time. So he will deliver. So, you know what? what? I've had lunch with a lot of ladies in the past. I mean, years back. But the one I have with you today is just the best. I tell you, the memory of it will forever remain in me. Wait, wait. Is this why you brought me back into your office? <laughs> to flatten me? Well, go ahead because I'm already getting used to it. I don't know how else to explain this to you. I did not just flatter you. Huh? I'm telling the truth. You are just one special gift from God to me. Yes. I, I, I appreciate that day, that very day you lifted your phone and gave me a call. Mm. And I also appreciate that very day that you're flying across to the palace. You know, the fire was meant to be showed. Fortunately, it got to me. And since then, everything changed. Yeah, everything changed for good. <laughs> what are you doing? Mm, I thank you very much. Come on, see me. I don't want to start showing up with you know, my makeup. You know? Come on, you look it. So I have to get going. Okay. Oh. True love is what I'm waiting for. Oh, here she comes. So it's true. You girls are still here. 
Well, we had nothing better to do. Since you said it was a long date, we decided to wait till you come to hear the outcome. Okay. Well, nothing happened. Hmm. That is exactly what people who want to have something extremely romantic say. Hit me, girl. <laughs> Hit you from... <laughs> Please. Nothing happened. I mean, it was just a lunch date. I told you. Sandy, see that. Okay. Fine. I'm all sitting down. Happy now? So, come on, girl. Tell us what happened. Oh, okay, fine. We ate, drank, and then um, I came back home. Huh. Really? Really? Emma made lunch for you yesterday, then today took you out on a date, and did not make any move towards you? You girls don't give up, do you? I mean, it's not hard for you to mind your business. Come on, girl. Where's the poop? He us with all the nasty oh, details. Okay, okay. We got talking and then I'm, he told me how much he likes me and how much he wanted to spend more time with me. You know, we just kept... Maybe with time we get to know each other more and that's all. That's, that's all? Me. Can you pull me down, please? That's all. Um, Mary and Matt, please do not hold this against me, okay? This is, this is the first time single ladies are coming to my office to inquire on real estate. I'm humbled with your knowledge of this low-cost housing. For how long have you been into this? Does it really matter? The important thing is that he has good knowledge of the business. And um, it looks like someone who could be trusted. Hi, Sylvia. Hi. Hi. I'm fine. I'm very fine. Is your boss around? Yes, he's around. But he's actually with some point now. But I can tell him you're here. Okay. Um, I have something for you. Okay, I saw this in my closet today. So I thought of you. I just hope you like it. <laughs> wow, oh my god. It's beautiful. I like it, right? I, I love it. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're so kind. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, I'll just tell him over here. Okay, I'm waiting. Sir, yes, sir, the princess is here. Oh, the princess? Yes, sir. Wow. What's wrong? I think we'll have to be on our way now. Yes, we we'll have to leave like right now. Seriously, you both have got to stop. I mean, just stop it. Sunny, we are sorry, but we really wanted to see this guy. She really wanted to see this guy, and you never asked me. Why? Why didn't you tell me about it? Actually, we wanted to catch him on our ways to know if he's the real deal without you in the room. Oh, yes. And we know how your last relationship mm -hmm. ended. We want to protect you. She wants to protect me. Listen, girls, come off it. I understand that you are concerned about him. But this guy is different. Chisoba is a good man. I am with him because I want to. You are so right. So please, stay the hell away from him. You are right about that. Right about what? He's a good man. And I saw the way he picked up when he heard your arrival. Yes, Sandy. In as much as we want to protect you, we are sorry we went the wrong way. You can be with him if you want to. She's right. You both might not realize it now. But you're beginning to fall madly in love with each other. <laughs> come on, this. What? Oh, come on. 
Hello, manager. Um, can I call you back in five minutes? Hello. You're still up for that dinner tonight? What dinner? We agreed to have dinner tonight. We? We discussed it yesterday, remember? No. The last time I checked, you were just passing by with my boss. And you said, hello, pretty. Can I take you for dinner tomorrow? And you left without saying another word. What? Uh, I didn't. Yes, you did. Oh, come on, lady. You don't sound so mean. All right. I want to have to know with you tonight. Please. No. Why? Because I don't want. Oh. So is this how you want to play it? What is that about? Game on, baby. Um, naturally, sir. A man like you, I'm not supposed to be asking this kind of question. But you're asking because you don't understand how my company completes a bungalow in one month. It's based on the template that I personally developed. And trust me, I am going to teach others that. Okay, sir. Just give me a call when you make up your mind so we can appointment. It's okay. Thank you for calling and have a nice day. Oh. Remind me again. How did your company become this big in a space of three months? Okay. A certain angel walked into my life and everything changed. <laughs> oh. Talking about an angel, she appears. Hello, baby. How are you? You own me. See, I, I don't understand why you always call me whenever you want to come over to the house. You have your own key, for God's sake. The house is equally yours. Oh, baby, come on. Come on, Faith. It's okay. I will see you in an hour. I love you too. Okay, bye. I just, I just can't believe my eyes. Don't sound confusion. Ijoma, what are you doing? What do you think you are doing? What's your problem? My princess, you shouldn't be doing this. Excuse me? Yes, my princess. Cleaning a man's apartment, cooking for him, doing his laundry. Oh no, you are the princess of Obuduko kingdom, for goodness sake. This is not right. He is not even of the same class with you. I see. <sighs> EJ. Yes, my princess. Drop the rag. I said drop the damn rag. Go to my post, take any money you see there. You can take all of them. Just do me a favor. Leave. What? Do you like me? I do not like repeating myself. Why did I bring you here in the first place? I thought you could help me. 
I would have just done it by myself. My prince. Oh, please! You are so lucky that I am not firing you right now. Move it! Get out! Get out! Are you sure of what you are saying? Yes, sir. I am very sure. That's good news! Your Majesty, did you just say that? The princess has been going to cook for and clean the house of a man who lives in an apartment. And you see nothing wrong in that? Oh, Ikoko, to tell you the truth, I'm more interested in meeting that man of the moment. I want to know that man and know his intentions towards my daughter. I have waited for long. She will always come to inform me that she will come by She will come by that exact time. Wow. I mean, that is amazing. You know, some women will want to come anytime they want, hoping to catch their men with another baby. Princess is a very different person. Yes. She said that I am the man. And the man should not be taken on her ways. I would say one thing what I've done for God for him to bless me with a woman like that. Okay, so when are we going to get the ring? Oh, I'm still thinking. I still have my fears. I don't understand. You see, sometimes I see myself as not worthy to marry the elaborate princess of Obudubu Kingdom. Her father is the owner of Shivo Oil and Gas, the multi-billion dollar business. And I'm just a businessman living in my apartment. I'll tell you what. You are a successful engineer who is already rewriting the housing history in this country. Look, I am your friend and I can tell you that you've got potentials. And I don't see any reason any family should reject you as son in law. You think she'll accept it? You wanna know what I think? I think she will first of all give you a dating slap for taking this long to do it. So can we go now? You're a crazy man, you know. <laughs> Receiving something delicious. And fresh? Yes. <laughs> okay, babe, so I decided to come clean the house, restock your fridge, and then um, I also made dinner. Good. Sandy. Yes, dear. I would want to ask you of something. And I I don't want you to feel bad so much about it. Okay, um, what's going on? What is it? Come on, be out of it. I don't just know how to say, but I'm sorry to say this. Just say it. 
anyhow, any just say that. Peep. What are you doing? Will you marry me? Are you for real? Damn. Yeah, I was thinking you wanted to break up with me. Hell no. Brackles too much too. Wow. This is beautiful. Will you marry me? Yes. Yes, I'll marry you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Do you like me? I love it. Are you for real? Wow. <laughs> thank you so much. Girls, I am not happy with you. I mean, I called you a long time ago. I can't believe that level of excitement you girls are just getting here now. Kindly, of please don't be mad at us. I was not around and I asked Amanda not to come without me. Please. Thank God she's not old enough to me. Mm -hmm. My princess, we are here now. So, what happened? Okay. Well, I haven't disclosed this to anyone. Because mm -hmm. I wanted to tell my friends first. Okay. We're here. So, um... What? Good Come news. on, tell us. <laughs> he proposed... Hey, what's going on here? The princess is getting married! Getting married to who? To the man she loves. Yes. Are you not happy? I guess he's not happy. Oh, please. Who gives a damn? I mean, I am the one getting married. Oh, yeah. So my opinion counts. Your Majesty, the princess is about to get married to a man who is just ordinary. An ordinary businessman who is still struggling and lives in an apartment. And if she doesn't work on that, you could go, I don't get it. Would you rather I die still waiting for a better suitor? I mean, if the princess says she wants to get married, then let her get married. Listen, at this point, I don't even care if she marries a beggar. What? I hear there's good news in the house. How are you girls? Fine. We're good, Your Highness. Great. Hey, Dad, um, he proposed. Wow! Indeed, that calls for celebration. <laughs> when can I meet him? What? Your fiance. When can I meet him? Oh, um, I will have to invite him over. Oh, make sure you do that soon. Okay? <laughs> Ladies, request anything you want from the palace maid. If what you want is not there, she will go and get it. Okay? I want you all to celebrate. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Daddy. You're most welcome, my darling. Thank you, Daddy. You're most welcome, my love. Okay? If you will excuse me. Wants to see me almost immediately. Wow, not so fast. I certainly might do it, but you see, babe, my my father is a different breed of woman. I mean, just when you think you know him now, the next minute he would do something that would make you wonder if he is still the same person. That's scary already. Maybe there's nothing scary about this. Listen, he just made a suggestion. Maybe because he was so excited. 
But if it is not okay by you, I can... No, 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 no. I propose, didn't I? So I'm ready for anything besides. The sooner the better, right? Okay, so tell me, when will it be convenient for you to meet with my father? Whenever that is okay for the king. Um, this night, I'm sure he will be pleased to meet you. Baby caught me there, right? <laughs> anyway, tomorrow will be fine. Okay then, I will let him know. Good night, my love. Good night, my wife. Hmm, I think I love the sound of that. <laughs> Come on, go to bed, okay? Bye, good night. Why must why why must he want to see me so fast? Yeah, the door is open. Oh, man. thank God you are here. I mean, what's going on, man? You sounded on the phone like a disaster was imminent. The king. What? The king wants to see me. Uh, if I get this correctly, you proposed. The princess accepted, adored her father, and now he wants to meet with you. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So then, why are you panicking like a four year old child? Roland, you don't understand. I am going to tell the powerful king why I want to be with his daughter. I'm not the powerful princess with fathers like him. So? The princess chose you. She left the powerful princess and chose you. I mean, that's the most important thing. Yeah. I'll say this. Get over your damn self. Saddle up. And be the hero she thinks you are. Yes, so when do you intend fixing the ceremony? Your Highness, I'm planning to do that by September. Ah, why? Because I'm expecting some money by then. And I want to give my woman a wedding that she'll never forget. <laughs> September is too far. Why not marry her immediately? What? Yes. I will foot the entire bill. Listen, leave everything to me. Oh, my daughter already told me she knew that you are the one. So why waste time? See, I don't know the kind of wedding you're planning. But tell me, will 50 million naira be enough? Oh, well, if it's not going to be enough, I can give you more. Um, Your Highness, I must say I'm flattered. But no, I will not take it. I want to do everything by myself. I might not be that caliber of man that people expect a princess to marry, but I want to prove it to her that I'm equal to the task. Now, we do respect your highness. If there is anything you want to do for us, that should be after wedding. I want to be the man that completely marry my woman. Wow. I must confess, you may not be a prince, but you are certainly the caliber of man that uh, my daughter should be married to. Uh, principled and audacious. I like you. Thank you. <laughs> Where could she be? So how did you go? You won't believe what I'm about to tell you now. Okay. So what happened? Nothing. That is it. <laughs> what do you mean by nothing? Your father accepted me without any doubt whatsoever. What? He even promised to foot all our wedding bills. But I refused. The fact, the fact that, that I told you not to accept, accept any suit coming, coming through your, your father, father does, does not mean you should reject true love. Through love. I'm, telling I'm telling you this because, because soon you will meet him. 
But please, please do, do not push him away on account, account of your father's cultism. As, as long as, as the love both of you have for each other is strong, strong enough, enough, nothing can harm you. Hello, babe. Are you okay? For a moment now, you seem very far. I am fine. Um, tell me, babe. How much do you love me? I love you so much that I am ready to devote all my life to make you happy. I love you. And I promise that we will be together forever. Where is this? And where are we going to? Are you confused or what? Listen, the king has asked me to show his potential in law. The parcel of land where he wants to build the very first steel company in the Bodupo Kingdom. That's where we are going. Forget about all these things you see. This is just the shortcut. Oh, the shortcut to the place. Then that's wonderful. Yeah. Let's okay. go. Forget about all these things. Uh, what's going on? Nothing is going on, don't be confused. Forget about whatever you see around here. It's just a security measure. Look, the casket, forget about it. It's just something we dropped here to scare people away. There are many people that are interested in the land. So this is to scare them away. Okay? I, I, are you sure? Very sure. Come on. Has the one that will replace me in the land of the dead arrived? What? Who will replace you? Me? Replace what? you in the land of the dead? You are already standing face to face with the casket and there is no going back. You must take the place of this son of mine. You must be sacrificed in his place. Hey! I am here as instructed. Why is the princess not married yet? She has been rejecting suitors. That's why. I asked you to help me, but you ignored me. But then, she has finally found and accepted a suitor. And they are scheduled to get married in September. The earlier you send the soul, into the spirit world to replace you will be better for you. Do that urgently and prepare to die. I said she's engaged. Why have you suddenly become so impatient? It's not even three years yet. Stop threatening me, for I've been a loyal servant all these years. Oh, now I see. You really didn't get the message right. Let me rephrase. 
you are to die within the next three years, and not after three years. Now, when I say within, I mean it could be today, tomorrow, next month, next year, or even in two years. If after these three years, you continue to live, then you are lucky. But the fact that you have three more years on this earth does not mean you cannot die before then. The sooner you get your daughter married, is ringing. Babe, what is wrong with you? Why are you not saying anything to me? You're not even responding to anything that I tell you. What is going on? Tell me. You can talk to me. What is it? Have you ever suspected your father of being an awkward man? What? Um, anyway, I, I'm sorry for asking. Hello there, you two. Greetings, Father. Greetings, Your Highness. How are you, sir? Fine, sir. Thank you. Is anything the matter, my princess? Um, no, that I am fine. I'm fine. Okay. Uh, permit me to steal your man for at least two minutes. <laughs> Why not? All right, uh, meet me in the family main lounge. Okay, Your Highness. What are you saying before? Uh, it was just a dream, that's all. It was just a dream? Yeah. You know, it was based on the horror thing I watched last night, so I'm reacting to it. Come to think of it, just the scene I watched was so scary. Okay, so nothing more. Just to relax yourself. You'll be fine, okay? Let me see your father. I'll be back soon. Hmm? <laughs> your background. I guess I was too excited about the engagement thing that I forgot to ask. Anyway, Your Highness, there's nothing much to it. I am a product of a single parent. My mother died giving birth to me. Oh. I'm very sorry about that. Maybe I shouldn't have asked. Uh, but what about your father? I never heard of him. I never met him. He was never in the picture. I grew up with my grandmother here in Obuduku Kingdom. My goodness. Yes, um, Your Highness, when I told the princess about my background, I was so sure that she would never find me worthy of any kind of relationship with her. But she told me that a man should not be blamed for the circumstances surrounding his bed. So I... And that a man did not create himself. So I watched her closely, thinking that one day she would wake up and decided to leave me. But as days turned into weeks, weeks turned into months, I, I knew it was time for me to propose to her. I knew that God has given me a priceless gift to handle. And um, I was so happy the, that she took me the way I was. So I summoned the courage to propose to her. So I thank God that she accepted me the way I am. 
So, Your Highness, I am pleading with you to accept me the way I've made myself to be and the way I was born. Hmm. Interesting. So, you have been by yourself all this while. You have struggled alone up to this point. All by yourself. Listen, I know you want to make my daughter understand that you're capable of making her a wife. But why don't you allow me help you a little? Your Highness, I don't know what to say. I am not going to give you money. Fortunately, I know the kind of business you do. I know you're a building engineer. So what I will do is to use my influence to introduce you to the Minister of Housing so that you will be listed as one of their topmost contractors in all these building projects, housing estate schemes that they are doing. That should help you move up. In exchange, I would like you to move up the marriage. Your Highness. I don't want no for an answer. Your Highness, thank you very much. Thank you so much. I like the sound of that. Listen, these are the things we do for people. And I would like my son-in-law to be among the bourgeois in this kingdom, the movers of the shakers. <laughs> <laughs> well, sis, I totally understand. Hmm? You know you're in that stage in your relationship where you spend all your free time either talking to him on phone or, <laughs> you know, doing the other thing. <laughs> I honestly do not know what you are talking about. Oh, please. <laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh -huh. <laughs> By the way, um, tell me about this, uh, Mr. Wright. Well, there's nothing much to say about him, except that he's a businessman. OK. And from a humble family in this kingdom. That's nice. And that's to say he owns his own private company. Um, well, <laughs> he has an office. I mean, he is a builder. So um, he has an office where he runs his day-to-day -day programs and, um, you know, does business. Can you tell me more about that, um, that company? Well, um, he just has... Come on, Fitpo. This guy is a builder. Of course, he, he has a company, but not really, you know, that big company the way you. That's what I meant. Okay. So, I'm guessing his father must be a prominent man in this kingdom. Well, his mother died when he was little. And then the father was never in the picture. So, he grew up with his grandmother and. Sorry, excuse. Yes, um, hello, babe. Oh, you're done talking with my father? Okay, yeah, I'm coming right in. I'm coming to get you. Okay. Um, sorry, I'll be right back. Okay. Oh. What is she talking about? Really? Hmm? Boxing. Listen, don't mind him. Yes, he is my brother, but sometimes he's just over dramatic. Okay? 
be cool. It's okay. It's okay. So tell me, what do I offer you? What do you want? Father, how can you relax and let this happen? <laughs> Your sister loves that young man. So I decided to bend the royal rules and allow them get married. What? You heard me right. Father, what has gotten into you? You want to bend the royal rule and allow the princess marry a man who doesn't even know his background? Respect for true love. That is what has gotten into you. Father, I would not allow that to happen. Not now, not ever. Tears of the king, cry of the people. Tears of the king, cry of Unfortunately the for you, I am the one who makes the final decisions. Evil in the kingdom. I don't know what you're talking Tears about. In the kingdom, darkness everywhere. He said all that. Yes, I had no other option but to agree. I understand, love. You see, my father has a way of getting whatever he wants. Indeed, he does. So tell me, what happened in your dream? Oh, my love, come on. Why are you taking me back to that? Come on, fit, babe. You see, I told you it's all about the, the movie I watched. The horror movie I watched last night before I went to sleep. I know. And I also believe you. But you see, I just want you to tell me what happened in your dream. So. Okay. Here's what happened. never wanted to tell you about the dream, but you insisted. Now you're making me regret telling you the dream. This has nothing to do with you, my love. I'm just concerned with one of the things my mother told me. In one of her appearances. Okay. Can you tell me about it? I mean, what your mother said. Baby, you do not need to bother yourself. Just be rest assured that no harm will befall you. I'm <coughs> young man. Get up. Get up. I need to talk to my sister right now. Bossy! Have you gone nuts? Are you mad? How did you talk to my husband like that? What? What did you just call this man? My husband. And you listen to me, I would not let you talk to my husband like that any further. Do I make myself clear? Um, 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 what is your problem? Yeah, babe, just calm down, okay? It's okay. I'll be waiting for you at the altar lab. Come on, babe, you do not need to go. It's do okay, it's to... okay. Just speak with your brother. Okay. Also, what is it? This. You can't be serious about that guy. I understand it's been a while since you've been with a man who truly likes you. But that guy, he barely even knows his own father. <laughs> I see. Tell me, Posey. How well do you even know your father? Excuse me? I am getting married to a Nigerian man. A man who has a Nigerian passport here in Nigeria. I mean, what am I even saying? A man who has a legitimate business here in the Bodobo Kingdom. That information is very okay for me. Ah, ah, ah. Sonny, you've gone mad. You've gone stark, raving mad. Bossy, let me make this very clear to you. When I get married to Chizoba, he will be living with me right in my own wing of the palace. No one, I repeat, no one has the right to question my decision. Do I make myself clear? Sandy. I 
you ready to go? Because I am going with you. This whole environment is so toxic for me right now, and I cannot survive here. What's wrong? Don't even start now, babe. Right after you. Thank you. How did it go? Your Majesty, he said he is going to relate the message to the elders. Okay. Hmm? But to confirm that the elders will actually attend the marriage of the princess is what he cannot really Who knows who said that? That's what he said, Your Majesty. It's okay. So, um, why don't you hold on to this until you're back in the evening? You know, some point you have to go back home and face your brother. I know. But nobody says I can have a peaceful or quiet time with my friends. We will still talk about me leaving in the palace with you. I am not changing my mind. We'll see. Okay. You need to get going so you don't run it. <laughs> I'll see you, okay? Okay. You have a nice day. You too. Say they will not be participating in your daughter's marriage ceremony or any other ceremony concerning the royal household. They are doing this because the last time the chief priest paid us a visit, he said that the darkness surrounding the royal family is getting thicker by the day. He said that the political and administrative institutions of Obuduku Kingdom are being controlled by some very dark forces. He has asked everybody to keep up the royal household until you come out with the truth. Which is the reason I have come again. Not only as the Ono, but as the Isine Buogidi of Oboluku Kingdom. To ask you the very question I have been asking you for a long time now. Iwa Akubeze, what is going on? If you don't speak up, there is no way we can help you. What is going on? Mr. Goldinger. And what's the meaning of this? Well, this is me coming to warn you to stay away from my sister and my family. Excuse me? <laughs> well, I know your type. You see, men like you work so hard to create this picture of a perfect gentleman and the sights of every wealthy lady they come across. Making them see you as a perfect gentleman. Fine. You must have played your games right with my sister. But what I do not know is how you managed to sink your claws into my father. Well, that is why I'm here. To let you know that no matter how you decide to play it, I will not let you get a father, I mean a dime, from my family. 
So this is it. This is actually your problem. You think I'm after your family wealth? <laughs> what else would a poor orphan like you be looking for in a princess? Or is this a fairy tale? No, Tom. Wow. Wow. If I had only accepted the 50 million naira your father offered me for the wedding, then all this rubbish you're talking here will make sense. What did you say? You heard me right. 50 million naira. <laughs> you're a pathological liar. How did you hide it from all of them? Tell me. Young man, you cannot call me a liar when you have no proof. Well, old man, stay away from my sister. I will not warn you again. Else, I'll warn you fingers. Don't say I did not warn you. Stay away. I'm very sure he listens to me. And I'm very sure he takes you at will. This thinking office. Yes. Now you listen good. I want you to warn you to stick to commoners like you. The next time he makes a move towards my sister, it will be disaster for you all. It's unfortunate that you don't even know the man you're insulting. He may be a commoner, but he belongs to a class that some fools can never attain. What? Are you trying to call me a fool? Some people are so poor that the only thing that they have is so much money. Some people are so classless that the only class they belong to is that they were born into affluence and they have never achieved anything on their own. Significantly, they knew themselves. They call us commoners and I call them fools. How dare you? How dare you? Stop it! A man who calls himself a man is not supposed to hit a woman, no matter what she does. With all the exposure, you're supposed to know that. Are you serious with this thing, father? You did what? You heard me right. I offered him 50 million naira and he rejected it. Insisting that he would not want it to look like he's interested in the princess because of money. And sincerely, from what I now know, he's a gentleman. And he's genuinely in love with your sister. Hmm. I see. Yes, who's there? Hold on. Hold on, I am coming. What are you doing here? How did you find this place? Well, Dad, give me this address. Can I at least come inside? Well, that depends. Depends on what? On why you are here. What are you doing here? Well, Sandy, um, I come in peace. Okay? I am sincerely sorry. Well, I don't believe you. Well, listen, um, Dad told me about the money he rejected. So? So I found it very hard to believe. To believe what? That a man like Chisoba would love me unconditionally without having eyes for my money? Or you could not believe? I mean, do I even look so ugly to you guys? Do I? 
I'm sorry I, I had it all wrong. Okay? Please forgive me. Fine, come on in. <laughs> Darling, sis. Well, I guess it's not back yet. Not yet. Who knows? Maybe he's somewhere pondering and thinking about his whole marriage plan. <laughs> because if you use my brother, I will strangle him one day in his sleep. Oh, thanks to my lovely brother. Oh, no, come on. I can't do that. Of course, you know me. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh -uh -uh. Maybe it's all in my head. Maybe in reality the princess won't be a happy woman when married to me. For all I know, I might not be able to meet all her needs. I just might not be able to the task. Please, oh man. Can you just do me a favor and shut up? See it. So this is what you've been calculating in your head ever since that idiot left here. Thank God. Thank God Sylvia called me. I can't believe you are beginning to rethink your getting married to your soul mate simply because she has a fool for a brother. He called me a gold digger. So what? Have you forgotten how it all started? Have you forgotten how you both met Jesaba, tell me you've forgotten how many times she rejected her money and how many times she insisted that you accepted the money because she believes in you. Have you also forgotten how she welcomed you with open hands and no judgment, even after knowing about your background? You've forgotten? Now listen to me. The princess chose you. She's been choosing you. Even up to now, she chose you. So get up that self-pity chair of yours and go home to your wife. Maybe, maybe, maybe. That's really nice one. <laughs> I'm sure you're the one that... Um, what fruit is this? Are you kidding me? <laughs> you see how much I've missed you. <laughs> I never took that. So much. Please stay, I'm coming. I'm coming. How are you? I'm fine. You see, I have no right to call you a liar. Because I had no evidence or proof that you were one. So I'm sorry. Sincerely from my heart. I am very sorry. I see. Well, I came here to apologize. But my sister told me that you were not home, so I had to wait. Chizoba, I misjudged you. I really did. And I'm very sorry about that. Okay? It's okay. Well, I see my sister is in good hands. Or you can ask me to leave. I wouldn't hold that against you. I'm really sorry. I would have asked you to sit and have some drink with me. But I can see that your sister is already doing that. So, 
I would ask you to stay for a dinner. <laughs> She's so bad. You see, you're a good man. She's very lucky. Hmm? <laughs> nice one, sis. Thank you. Wow. What's going on here? Where is my father? Your dad is in a meeting. Is that why you're standing here? Yes, because he has left an instruction that he wouldn't want to be disturbed. Why didn't you just ask one of the palace guards to do that? Because the last time I checked, you were not a guard in this palace. And that is why I'm here. I am not a guard like you said, and he couldn't have asked any of the guards to stand here because the meeting in person is absolutely confidential. Absolutely confidential, you see. That is to say I can't go in there to see my father. I see. How well do you even know your father? So, are we going to start the fight now? Or should we wait till tomorrow morning? And what fight are you talking about? The one that will determine if I am going to stay with my wife in her father's house or not. <sighs> BP. Listen, babe. I know you are making so much money from your work. But you don't have to be going around spending your money on um, trying to build a new house for us. Why don't you invest it? Get a land. Build it. Maybe you can even build an estate. Do you understand? After all, that was how my father made his money. Today he is the owner of Chevo Oil and Gas. I remember you complaining about the rent that you pay. Here. And the reasons you want us to move into our new house is because you want to end the yearly rent expenses. Come on, babe, I want you to move in with us. At least we can have time to sort out our estate expenses. And then we will be able to build something small for ourselves. Okay? Hmm. Wow. Wow. What's wow? You don't like my idea? Indeed. I am lucky to have you. <laughs> And I take that to mean that you've accepted my idea. I thank God for sending you my way. Come on, babe. <laughs> I also thank God for sending you my way, you know. <laughs> so, can we Us. go in? Go in for... Uh, Please, okay, okay. <laughs> anyway, I want to tell you something, one more what? thing. It's about my father. Why do I have this impression that there is something you want to say? Why are you not talking? 
Oh, really? Well, I should be the one asking you that question. Really? Hey, Google. Is there something you and my dad are hiding from us? Something like what? I don't know. I just don't know. You see, I've been thinking. And a whole lot just do not make sense. So you tell me. Is there something you and my dad are hiding? Are you not supposed to be talking to your sister? She is a princess. And many young women in this kingdom, and even beyond, look up to her as their role model. Why will she finally move in to live with a man who has not married her yet? Ikubu, why are you trying to deviate from the question I've asked you? Why? Moreover, this is new, Melinda. We should learn to respect people's opinions and choices. That man is going to marry her. And she has the right to stay with him for as long as she wants. At least to know him more. Now you tell me, is there something I need to know? Well, if that is your understanding of life, I am not going to argue with you. But you met me playing this. And can you please allow me to continue from where I stopped? What? What are you saying? I am asking you a question. Ikuku, answer me. What do I need to know? What is going on? Really? Then you can as well sit down here and continue looking for something that is not looking for you. Good night. Ikuku. Why is it finally looking as if I do not know my father? Why? Well, I came home yesterday to find him having a secret meeting. And now you're telling me that mom appeared to you in a dream to reveal to you that dad is a cultist. Sandy. How long has this been going on? And why am I just finding out now? Come on, brother. I mean, things like this are very confusing. And it can break a home, I'm sure you know that. I was just trying to be careful and I haven't told anyone about this. You know, apart from the dreams that I had about our mother, I have every evidence to prove anything. Anything at all. I think you should confront your father face to face. His reaction will tell us what else to do. So where is this coming from? Dad, are you a cultist? I mean, were you ever a cultist? <coughs> Did you or do you have no. Any problem with an occult? No. N O no. I'm a traditional ruler for goodness sake. Not a cultist. And let me warn you, you have to be careful with any kind of rumor that you believe in. It could be harmful to innocent people. Father, I had a dream. My mother came to me in my dream. She told me lots of things. And that is the reason I never obliged to anyone you were trying to attach me with. I'm very disappointed in you. After all the exposure I give to you, you still sit here before me and give importance to what anyone said in one dream. Dad, it is not just anyone. Hmm. I am talking about my mother, your late wife. Father, she told me... Listen, I am a king. I'm a businessman and a father. I have nothing to do with cultism or anything you call. If that is the reason for this meeting, then I must tell you here and now that this meeting is closed. Dad! <laughs> 
Baby, do good now for you. He goes to bat now for you. Baby, do good now for you. Iroko, you are my father's advisor. I mean, his closest confidant. Tell me the truth. But I have told you the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. I don't know what other thing you want me to say. Your father is not a cultist. He is not involved in any form of ritual. That's the truth. And I am disappointed with you that you have gone ahead to confront your father with this nonsense. Why do I find it so hard to believe? I mean, any of you, why? Well, I don't have a problem with what you decide to believe or not. I have told you the truth. It is left to you to believe, or oh, I refuse to believe. That we have no money to find anything shouldn't lure us into thinking that there is nothing. There is definitely something. Trust me, we're going to find it. Well, I'm pausing. I have to go because I have to make dinner for Chizoba. All well, in as much as you're in the hands of a good man. Don't you think it's quite wrong for you to have moved in with him the way you did? Paul Sin, I understand everything you've been saying here. But you see, some certain things that happen in this palace scare me a lot. Yes, it is not right for me to move in with him the way I did. But then again, I am staying with a decent man. A man who understands everything about royal marriage. I am in the hands of a good man, like you said. Thank you for acknowledging that. I have to run along. Very well then. See you. A decent man that understands everything about royal marriage. What does that even mean? Could it be they're not sleeping together? And he has never attempted to have anything with her. <laughs> Is that even possible? Can, can, can you imagine? What if they plan to watch you? I mean, what if they plan to, to do something bad to you? My mother warned me severally in my dreams. What if she's right? Baby, what if they, they plan to sabotage our wedding? I do not want anything to happen to you. My love, um, remember she told you that love, when pure and truthful, can defeat any form of darkness. Oh God, baby, I know. You see, but it's just not... No, no, no but. Why are you afraid? Why wouldn't I be afraid? Tell What's wrong with her? Oh, she's been like this since she came back. Please, please. Oh, come on, sis. Listen, you have to concentrate on your wedding plans. Okay? I'll keep an eye on that. As for me, school is on break, so I have all the time I need. Okay? Just focus on your wedding plans. Wait, I mean, I'm... Like, you're staying over? Of course, I will. Have you? You My promise? Love. Yes, I promise. My love. Why don't we go out for dinner? Okay, dinner? Come with me, but I'm getting ready to cook something. I am not going to let you into that kitchen for anything. 
Mm. Well, I wish I would find someone that would love me like this. Oh, please. <laughs> um, my prince. Yes. Why don't you join us? Of course. Of course, I will. Okay. Good. Okay, babe, why? Let me go inside and then get my post. So you can go? Okay. <laughs> what do you need your post for? Like you're the one paying for the food. Hey, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> Please do not be rude. You know, women are so attached to some silly things they buy and put in their purse for themselves. Okay, so why don't I go get my purse? And I'll be right back. Oh, no, no, no. Then I'll be changing too. Baby. Yeah, come on. Most practically, everything about me. You guys will not just kill me, huh? You guys will not kill me, huh? The way you talk to me lately is to say the least very unfair. I am an apostle of the golden air and I deserve some commendations. You, you deserve, deserve no commendation for you have committed a huge blunder. Why did you allow the man who married your daughter to move into the place with her? What blunder are you talking about? Was that not what you asked me to do? I, I never, never asked you to encourage her to, her to bring the man into the palace. Your daughter is indeed a woman of class. All through the period of death, all the while she slept in his apartment, they never came together as man and a woman. She made possible. She made that possible because she knew the staff of the kings will rise against the princess that violated the rule of royal marriage. Finally, that marriage got consummated under the protection of the ancient staff of the kings of Obodoku Kingdom. The princess is already pregnant, and we cannot harm the father of her child. What? You, you might not know this, but every child conceived under wind. You, you might not know this, but every child conceived. Under, Under the wings, wings of royalty is completely, completely protected by the ancient staff of the kings and, and for reasons we cannot understand. That ancient staff is guiding your son-in-law and for reasons we cannot understand. That ancient staff is guiding your son-in-law. We, we cannot touch him for the Lord cannot contain with the agent of and authorities. Well, why didn't you mention all this earlier? Why wait until now? Why wait until now to start reading all these rules into my ears? We read, read the rules as events of old. You might have succeeded in soiling the throne of the kingdom with the blood and the darkness. But you didn't succeed in bringing the agent of staff of the king to your side. That staff only gets attached to clean hands and pure hands. The moment you decided to join your court, it left you. The people of the world will crown you king because it was the right thing to do as the heir to the throne. The hard rules in the question of your sanctity and all rights. So, how do we solve this now? You, you have been the only option that will have given you ten more years. Prepare yourself for the end of the goal. The sacrifice of oneself by oneself. It is going to happen when the time is now. But, but, but why can't the sacred order of the golden air destroy this so-called staff of the kings? That staff is not useless. It is something rooted in tradition. And the ancient traditions and rules when properly maintained are superior to your conduct. Then there must be another way out. Because I don't want to die now. Then terminate that marriage to get another husband for the princess. This one that already attracted the protection of the ancient authorities is no longer acceptable to us in the sacred order of the gold. That 
not possible, Father. I will not allow that happen in this palace. Really? Be very careful, young man. Don't mistake the gentleness of the tiger for cowardice. I am still the king of this land and the custodian of the traditional authorities of Obuduku Kingdom. That marriage, as far as I'm concerned, stands terminated and you're not going to argue with me on this. Father, you cannot just wake up one morning and decide you no longer approve of your daughter's husband and you expect her to send him packing. That's not going to work. Listen, young man. There is evidence that that bastard is cheating on your sister. What right does he have to cheat on not just my daughter, but the princess of Obuduku kingdom? What right? Evidence. O okay, Dad. What are the evidence? Can I have them? Let me see them. Are you out of your mind, Paulson? You're asking me for evidence? Is something wrong with you? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Dad. But I've grown to know this young man. He is a very decent man. There is no way I'm going to swallow these pills you're giving me, huh? Now get this into your head. I am like a moving train. I am going to crush that man. And anyone who stands with him, I will crush. So if you like, stand with him. Dad. Isaac Obezi of Ubuduku. Why are you so impossible? Hmm? Why? I have to kill him. Your Majesty, you will not kill him. I have to. Your Majesty. There's no way. I will not let you kill him, Your Majesty. Excuse me? Your Majesty, the private investigator finally unearthed what I've been asking him to unearth all this wire. Your Majesty, you have to look at this. Take a look at these pictures. I will not allow you to kill that young man because he is my son. Wait, 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 wait a minute, Mopsy. Are you serious about what you just said? Is he crazy or something? Is something wrong with him? Sandy, as a matter of fact, yes, he is. He has gone stuck, <laughs> raving mad. Now it's up to us to find out a way to stop him. Yes. We have to stop him. Father, I am tired. Everybody in this palace is tired of your excesses. What is it? Why can't we have this? Well, if you must know, my husband is not going anywhere. Because our marriage is for better and for worse. Princess, that man is cheating on you. Oh, Father, I am not complaining. I mean, I don't even care. I don't. I have gone to see the priest. And he assured me that my husband and I have wanted the protection of the ancient staff of the kings. What else do you want? What? You know what, Father? Bring in your court, sir. Because I am ready for you right now. Any man she marries will die after one year. So that he will replace you with the man of the dead. Thousands of confusion, yeah, yeah. Thousands of questions, oh, people keep on wondering. Oh, but when I close my eyes, I see. I know you're surprised to see me in your office. Your manager recognized me as the palace keeper, a messenger of the king. Therefore, she granted me access into your office. Uh, it's okay. Please, do make yourself comfortable. Please, no, sit. No, 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 no. What brought me here is one I can say, stand. What happened? Is my wife okay? Your wife is absolutely okay. This visit has got nothing to do with your wife. Oh, okay. I am here to tell you something that has been confirmed. Authoritatively. Kizaba, you are my son. Excuse me? If you permit me, 
I will explain everything to you. Um, well, based on what you said, Mother told me when she appeared to you. I am convinced Chizoba is that magic lover she told or talked to you about. I know. That is why I married him. And that is why I am going to resist father with everything in me. And that is where I have to come in. You see, father is not just a man. He's the king. And we should be very careful how we join issues with him. That man can kill him. Oh, please. I don't care. I mean, I have got to consult the priest. Who is the spiritual head of the land? And he has showed me that we are under the protection of the ancient staff of the kings. You shouldn't be scared, Paul Sin. Father can only try, but will never kill us. He can't succeed, please. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Chizuba, are you alright? Are you okay? Well. I think I have to leave you too. Huh? Can you see something? Ikuku is my father. That remains your son in law. This throne will remain as hot as hot charcoal for you. You stand in my way, Ikuku, Your Majesty. Can't we end all these things already? Please. We have already established that the traditional institutions that we abandon are superior to courtesy. Let us find a way and confess to the chief priest. One way or the other, he's going to forgive us and find a way to reconcile us back to the gods of our land. Now that I know that I have a son, please, let us enjoy this reunion that promises to bring peace and prosperity to us. You must be a fool to tell me that now. supposed to be dead. I was that queen who related with the ancestors of the Buduku kingdom. You killed me because I was against the occultic life you started living. You think you can silence me forever? He came to my office and broke that news to me. He explained a lot of things. Some I've already heard from my grandmother. I have a reason to believe it could be. Listen, Amuleka. Step away from my side, Amuleka. Or you will force me to handle your second death. Here and now. Get out! <laughs> Conspiracy against me shall come to nothing. For it is already established in the occult that we use the living to buy more years for us. 
Stop this, your resistance. For I must sacrifice this useless offspring of this fool that decided to abandon me halfway. What? Father, I am no longer ready to spare anything. For I do not want to die now. I must sacrifice this idiot that defiled the sacred sanctity of my palace. Oh, I will kill all of you now. I know that I have no child. Father, what is wrong with you? What is your problem? For how long will you keep waging war against traditional establishments? For how long? Well, Father, if you must know, you cannot harm us. Because we are under the protection of the ancient staff of the kings. Oh, shut your mouth! Shut your mouth! For the sacred order of the golden air is superior to all things, including that your useless staff of the kings, or whatever you call it. And I must prove it to you. Okay. The dark cloud hovering over this palace has evaporated. We can now plan again. Shizoba. You have just been saved by our traditional establishments and you must keep to them. Passing, when the dust settles, we will now gather again and make you a new king. Have it. Have it. Set it on fire. Thousands of questions. Thank you very much. People keep on wondering. Oh, but when I close my eyes, I see to love. So beautiful. So, so sweet. So sweet. To For you, if you do good, 
love for you. If you do, but love for you. Tears of the king, cry of the people. Tears of the king, cry of the people. Evil in the kingdom, tears in the kingdom. Darkness everywhere, killings everywhere, rituals everywhere. Judgment is coming for the weaker.